Hello, hello, everybody. And we are going to be beginning our Pokemon Platinum adventure. Last stream, we finished Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. So, I figured, before we begin Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, let's jump to a different Pokemon game that I've been meaning to get to, one that I haven't played in over a decade now, Jesus. Pokemon Platinum. I've been playing Platinum. Hey! He's a good game, I think. Ba -ba -ba. I hadn't just been listening to the Cadence of Hyrule original soundtrack. Yeah, which is a Crypt of the Necrodancer crossover. I've heard good things of the Crypt of the Necrodancer game and, like, crossover pseudo, like, spiritual spinoff thing. Hmm. I think I've also, like, listened to like remixes made because like there's a there's a youtuber who makes a bunch of like remixes or like covers of various like video game songs and i think he worked on that it was very good but yeah i just utterly adored explorers of sky best game ever Her tore out my heart multiple times and the uh, only reason that we're playing this is that i vastly overestimated the amount of post game we had left in <laughs> Explorers of Sky. I thought we had like two and a half more uh, situations. We were uh, halfway through the last major situation and the other thing was more of an epilogue. Eh. <laughs> uh, still lots of fun. But yes, let us go into the world of Platinum. I think my favorite region, if memory serves, Sinnoh. Or, as some people might call it, Modern History. <laughs> Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. You're not Professor Oak. <laughs> You're the descendant of a warlord. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. I had to beat Oak's ass to get that <laughs> title here in Sinnoh. The Professor Boxing Boxing Professor Boxing League goes very hard, my dear. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Uh, well, let's go with adventure info just because we can. I don't need control info. You are about to enter a world where you will embark on a grand adventure of your very own. Personally, I think Explorers of Sky was a grander adventure than this will be, but we'll give them a chance to sell us on it. Speak to people and check things wherever you go. Invade their homes and take their shit. Be it in towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every possible source. New paths will open to you when you can help uh, when you help people in need, overcome challenges, and solve mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others to a battle. At other times, wild creatures may stand in your way. By overcoming such hurdles, you will gain great power. However, your adventure is not solely about becoming powerful. On your travels, we hope that you will meet countless people and through them achieve personal growth. This is the most important objective of this adventure. And I do believe no info needed. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. I do like that. Of course it's a Bunnery. Pervy old man. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. By the way, Runny makes grass encounters, uh, encounter spaces more common. Ah. So walk, unless I want to find them. <laughs> unless I want to agitate them and bring them out. Okay, oh no, that bunnery was just a ghost. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, let's just keep on the train again. Granted, her winter outfit isn't all that good. 
You need leggings, girl. It's winter. All right, so you're a girl. No, but in the game world, we can be. Tell me, what is your name? Let's see. I am Neon, not Zorua this time. Your name is Neon? Yes. Okay, so you're Neon. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? I do find it interesting that, like, in this game, they're like, and your rival is just like, <laughs> Kevin! No, we're gonna do Barry. He's Barry. I remember hardly anything about this. All I know is, like, Team Galactic, the, the lakes, the ending, and that's basically, like, a bit of the ending, and that's basically, I hardly remember anything about this, even though it's, like, my favorite one. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name. Yes. All right, Neon. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Maybe you'll even fall through a portal to the far past of this land and fight God. I forget if they ever have established if Akari is Dawn or not. <laughs> like, maybe in, like, the Pokemon Masters EX, I think they might have had a crossover between, like, ah, here's Dawn and Akari, side by side. Ha ha ha. Now, go on. Leap into the world of Pokemon. Which is hilariously not as Pokemon worldly as Pokemon Mystery Dungeon which is a world just of Pokemon. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rohan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. So he really did beat Professor Oak's ass in a boxing tournament. That's my professor. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rohan. So what, did, did we call in and be like, hello, what's your name? I'm Neon, and I'm a girl. Or is that like self-insert hallucination? Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. That's a television, not the internet. See you next week, same time, same channel. I stream more than you. I deserve your followers. Hello, Barry, I took one single step. There you are. Hey, Neon, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. How did you get here so quickly? It ended a second ago, Barry. Professor Rowan's really a, that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. I mean, that worked for Red, the legendary trainer. That worked for that girl from that one place in Johto. It worked for that other girl in that one place in... What's the name of the place in Emerald? I forget already. My, my memory is shit. <laughs> I got the Chimchan Rialu plushies. May your team live ever on <laughs> alongside you in the form of plushies. Oh no, don't turn us into marketable plushies. <laughs> now, now I'm wondering, in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, do major Pokemon like rescue teams, exploration teams, and other like guild teams do they sell marketable plushies of themselves? I don't think Team Charm would, out of fear. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Th that's my computer, Barry. Uh, hey, is this a new PC? It's a laptop, Barry. Uh, where was I? This guy's ADHD, personified. Oh, right, right. Uh, we're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Neon, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Pokey. My major teams in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon couldn't even afford that. Hello, Nintendo Wii. It's a Wii. It's controlled by a Wii remote. This implies that Nintendo exists in the world of Pokemon, and they just don't get involved in anything Pokemon. Check the PC. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon Trainers. That is indeed the basics. 
Mom bought this TV as a gift. It's a big ass TV. It's like a widescreen tube TV. The X button opens the menu. Indeed it does. Let's go to options. We want fast. Let's see. Um, everything else. Oh, frames. Let's look at the frames. <laughs> it's kind of a Pokeball frame. I do like all these, like, types. Ooh, that one's actually pretty cool. Maybe type 14. This one kind of reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, actually. We're, we'll go with that if there's nothing else. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes. And thank God we can save on our own. Take that, Coliseum. Oh, that's cool. There's a little animation of you actually, like, saving your journey. Saving a lot of data, huh? I feel like this is not meant to be happening. There we go. <laughs> Maybe it really was saving a lot of data. <laughs> Hello, mother. Are we ever going to ha Well, I guess in Emerald we had a father, so I guess I can't complain. Neon, Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. You could have just said that from the cushion, mother. It, main character. Here we are. It's the Contest Digest. The winner of today's normal rank smart contest is Westley, who won with his bright spark of a Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. You know how impatient Barry is. He took off before I could even ask what it was about. We don't even have running shoes yet. Oh yes, Neon. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Well, maybe if you got me my own Pokemon instead of a television, then I'd be able to go into the tall grass. <laughs> but my idea feels dumb. <laughs> There's no such thing as dumb ideas. Technology just blows me away. I mean, how can you play if people are... Now you can play if people around the world wirelessly. Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes, but Pokemon also open their hearts to you so you can become friends. I mean, we watched, like, the professor of the last game get assaulted. Hi, Neon. Barry was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you check it out? He said he was going to wait by the road, didn't he? I assume this is his house. It's... Yeah, there. Thud! What was that about? Oh, hey, Neon. Hey, I'm going to go see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. How do you have running shoes, but I don't? Oh, jeez, forgot something. It'd be hilarious if we tried to enter and he immediately just blasted out. Barry is ADHD. Yep. Oh, hi, Neon. Did you come calling on Barry? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder what he take who he takes after. Sonic? He needs ADHD meds. I better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Neon! I'll be waiting on the road! It's a 10 million pokey fine if you're late! I'm gonna steal your Wii. No one will find it. Adventure rule number one. The X button opens the menu. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress of save. There is nothing else here. I'm surprised he has two. <laughs> Good evening, is everyone raising Pokemon? It's time for the Battling Trainers! On Battling Trainers, we're always on the hunt for news. Our interviewers have scattered throughout Sido. We look forward to hearing about you, trainers. That's all the time we have for today. Then again, with the TikTok length, like, entertainment in this world, is it a surprise that Barry is ADHD-ified to hell? I don't think it is. I remember when I couldn't sit still. I'm not sure about myself. For me, it's mostly just... If things get in the way of the things I want to do, then frustration builds up. Too slow! Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab! What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem! It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokémon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea! Now listen, you know how wild Pokémon jump out when you go into tall grass? 
So what do you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gym Town without running into any wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. I was just informed that that is the exact opposite of how things work. Okay, here goes. On your marks, hold it. And you are going in the exact opposite direction, Barry. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Well, you see, Professor, how are we supposed to get to the next town over when the local government refuses to trim the large grass to make way for us un pokemon people? Hey, Neon, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. <sighs> what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Literally all of the television programs have been surrounded by Pokemon. I think we're already introduced to Pokemon. We've... <laughs> in fact, in the world of Pokemon, what is the likelihood of somebody never actually meeting a Pokemon? Eh? <laughs> You two, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? Yes. In fact, I want to be a Pokemon. This is just my vacation before I go to wherever Gates to Infinity takes place. Me too! I love Pokemon too! I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times! The answer will never change! We'll both answer a hundred times! We love Pokemon! Right, Neon? Yes. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me when people like the, that would do what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I uh. Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. How big of you? Ah, uh, very well then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However. You must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm? now where? Ah, there you are. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase behind at the lake. Is something wrong here? Ah, there it is, Lucas, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Well, those two are, those Pokemon are crucial. You're giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. I will not even consult their parents. Go on. Open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Neon, you can choose first. I am practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. What's up with you? Open the briefcase and pick a Pokemon. I wanted to do it from the front. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to see a disabled Pokemon trainer. It would introduce, like, uh, some worldliness to the world. Uh, shame there isn't I don't any... Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen any in any official media, which is kind of sad. I just got here, and welcome! We're playing some Pokemon Platinum, because I, sev again, severely overestimated the amount of post-game Explorers had. That, but it was great. What little left was there was amazing. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose. Which one will it be? Well, let's see if it's this one. Tortwig? No, thank you. Chimchar? Nice, but no thank you. We're gonna go with my classic choice. We're gonna go with Piplup. Then I choose. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Tortwig because I'm a meta gaming asshole. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sandgym Town. And now we'll be on our way. 
You got your child back, right? Manaphy came back. And, and then led us to a, a marine resort that was not really much like a marine resort. It was just a, a dungeon with water and palm trees. Professor, wait for me! Uh, sorry, folks. Dude, you're our age. What do you mean, folks? How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Like that warlord from ancient history. Well, I guess less ancient history and more like near the end of history. <laughs> Neon, we put up our own Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Yes. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Neon, I challenge you to a battle. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody, while your best friend tries to murder you. Let's see, we have Pound and Growl. We'll do one Growl. And now we shall fight. Go, my Penguin Pip. Oh, we didn't get to nickname you? Sadness. What in the, that one hurt you? Yeah, this is a fight. I guess I'll pound away now and do, like, one damage. So I've been lowering your attack. You've been increasing your defense. This is going to... This is the battle of endurance. Also, why does that make bubbles when you're a grass type? You traitor to your, your kind. Barry, I think you're a little too enthusiastic on increasing your defense. I think you hit maximum. No way, we can keep going. This is where we hit our stride. You've just been increasing your defense. <laughs> but Barry, Barry, my dude, are you trying to lay me out? I'm about, to, like, I'm going to get... Well, b b I probably should have growled at him more. Why does it feel like the lower I get on his health bar, the less damage I'm doing? I should have just pounded him from the start. It's gonna come down to a close thing. Don't you dare get a crit on me, Barry. I'm the winner of the day. I am the winner, not you. Ugh. And we got six to seven. Thank you for the level up, Barry. Your, your tanky strategy was horrifying. What are you saying? We ended up losing? And I took 500 of your pokey dollars. <laughs> Whew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest, too. See you, Neon! Hello, Mother. I got a Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, I bring a Pokemon home. Hello. <laughs> the professor gave it to me. What's the matter, dear? Wow, well, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Neon, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gym Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know. Neon, put these on. Put on the pair of running shoes. Mwahaha. <laughs> Going to Sand Gym Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With these running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me lead, read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails on adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? All right, then. Thank you, Mother. And we shall run. 
Hello, Barry. Too slow! Neon, I'm sick of waiting! I'm gonna go see Professor Ron, so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. He's not even running properly. Lake Variety. Ahead, according to legend, this lake is home to the Pokemon said to be the being of emotion. And then I just completely walked away. According to legend, it's said being of emotion. It's said to be the Pokemon that can experience sorrow. It's because of this Pokemon that people can experience sorrow and joy. Ah, so it's Slanesh. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. We don't have any Pokeballs. Trust me on this, it's here. It even says so on the sign. It's a tourist trap, Barry. Like I was daydreaming today, but I kind of wanted to see a thing where you fight yourself when you become a champion of different regions. Basically how, like, in uh, gold, silver, and crystal, you fight red. Then you have the same team when you were champion. When you fight yourself, so you have to battle your old team. That would be very cool. Kind of takes me back to my random idea of the Pokemon company making a base Pokemon game. With, like, they release it, it's just, like, Kanto, but then they add DLC that adds Johto, Sinnoh, and other, like, locations, as well as other big additions that they can just, like, so it's a single Pokemon game they can just build off of and put tons of content into there. They could build that in. <laughs> Yet this sounds dub. I think it sounds cool. It sounds very nice. What's, what's going on? The flowing tide. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it, you two children that I'm monologuing to. Oh no, nope, he's talking to the lake. <laughs> Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. We hilarious if he was talking to us. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Sure thing, Cyro. Cyro the Spyro. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Neon, let's catch that legendary Pokemon! We heard it. I wonder why it was talking. Matt, did you hear that, Neon? That was a legendary Pokemon crying! That had to be it! Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it! Wait, what? We don't have anything on us! You know, Pokeballs? P-O-K <laughs> accent E-Balls? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us! Do you think Professor Ron would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Neon, I'll race you! First one to the Professor's lab and San Jim Town rules! Madman. Everyone here has the same idea. <laughs> we want to fight ourselves. What will our first Pokemon be? To fight? That's ah, just a Starly. We'll kill you and then be on our way. Ah, neat. We'll kill you and then we'll be on our way, level 4 Starly. Big on. How dare you growl at me? We are both birds. We should not be capable of growling. You bitch. <laughs> the great minds of my stream think alike. We all want to fight ourselves like it's Persona. I like the music that's playing. It's nice. <laughs> I am resetting Pokemon Platinum. I don't think I've ever reset a Pokemon playthrough yet. Just never had the urge to. Hello there, are you going to fight me or are you a person? Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. So if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. But what about in Legends Arceus where I am one with the tall grass? Hello, Bidoof. We might catch a Bidoof, just to honor Bidoof of Explorers, maybe. 
perhaps. He is a good boy, but I'm not sure if he'll fit our teeth. I am sorry, Bidoof. <laughs> May you find life in, the no in another Pokemon world with mystery dungeons. And level up time, level seven. Huzzah. Bop. Trainer tips, don't be shy. Talk to anyone and everyone, happy to see. And I, I'm kind of annoyed that I can click away. We're gonna go home and rest so that my, our Piplup is ready for murder. Ba, 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 ba. I should be able to just rest in my bed, right? Or do I have to talk to my mother? I think I have to maybe talk, talk to my mother. Mother, I would long to rest here. My Pokemon is dying. Take a quick rest, dear. She hits us over the head with a frying pan so we can rest. There is no one normal in Twin Leaf Town. On the same patch of grass? Another Bidoof, but it's a girl this time. I guess we killed her man. I guess I'll growl at you so you do a little bit less damage and then we'll smack away. So that we can do some grinding. Just natural grind. How you bitch. Literally. How dare you get a crit on me right after I growl at you. I wonder what the likelihood of getting two crits in a row is. Also, a tackle from you must be horrifying because of those buck teeth. Four goes a long way in this world, it seems. And we're just gonna quickly put it on mono just so that it's easier on my ears. I sometimes daydream of Pokemon becoming real. Pokemon really have infected my brain, <laughs> like some of HHD. For me, it's somewhat similar. Lately, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has just been flooding my brain. It exists eternally. I'm going to. Hmm. I'm gonna run. Because I'm kind of afraid this person's a battler. They're not a battler, good. Hi, we're at Pokemart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it at a, with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It'll automatically go in the medicine pocket of your bag. Are potions just magical in this world where they go into your bag like <laughs> just ah oh yeah the item it knows where it belongs <laughs> alone on valentine's day again aren't we all oh now i had the weird thought of a valentine's couple watching my stream on valentine's day that feels weird and besides i'm not alone i have silas with me in my heart always whether that is inspiring or sad is up to you. All we have run into are Starly and Bidoof. Are you gonna fight me? Please don't. The ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. Please don't fight me. <laughs> Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor's waiting to see you. Your ADHD-ridden friend is already here, destroying our lab. Please kill him. See, this is our Pokemon research lab. We'll just go ahead and... Thud. What the... Oh, it's you, Neon! That old guy, he's not scary so much as he's totally out there! Ah, it doesn't matter, Neon. I'm out of here. See you later! What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's just go in. Well, well, look who's here. It is I, the other person you gave a Pokemon to. 
Neon, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Indeed. He has already grown two levels since you gave him to me. I'm, I've still yet to be able to nickname him because the world's a bitch. Ain't it? What'd you think? I'm a great Pokemon trainer. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, entrusting you with that Piplup was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Sure. What kind of name do I want to give my Piplup? <laughs> well, I got Apollo and Koga. Our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon teams will be with us forever. Well, what kind of name should I give you? Hmm. Ba 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 ba. I'm trying to think. What name? The name that comes to mind? I'll see if I can put it in. Ba 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 ba. Come along, Lancelot. We go on a journey. My game takes too long to reset. I'm just... <laughs> I'll just wait for you to get to heart home. <laughs> it's like a play-along of a stream. I see, okay. And you're happy with that nickname? Lancelot will kill God. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way about you. He's Lancelot now. Don't misgender my Pokemon. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Piplup of yours. Boy, am I glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. I'd have to kill you. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rohan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is why I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to recall data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Hmm. Good answer. I am now a god. Oh, I'm talking about the Zorark that I got traded by a family member from Black and White. Ah, that's always nice. Legacy Mon. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Neon, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I could even meet God if the developers weren't cowards. I've got the same. Uh, I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you... Oh, it bounced from Lucas back to Rowan. I'm fool. Now I'm just imagining Rowan just randomly talking with an exceedingly young voice. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. In a fight, right? Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Neon, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm filling the Pokedex pages too. And that makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? And who are these? Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. <laughs> if his name is Oak and you will put respect on his name. Oh, my name is Roseanne. It's an honor to be an assistant to our professor. What even are these machines? I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Why did that eh uh, sound weird? Now that I think about it, maybe that's why Zork is one of my favorite Pokemon. Could be. Let me guess, Barry? Oh no, Ron. Neon! I have something good here. You should take this as well. What's TM27? That is the technical machine that one contains the move return. 
Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. Only because you're a coward and won't jailbreak them. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. If I get a law punny, I'll give it the move return. Well, I'll be. The professor had TMs. Next thing he'll be telling he'll tell me he battled when he was young. Hey Nia, I want to show you a few things, so follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Neon, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? You're a broke-ass bitch. Oh yeah, right, Neon. You should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put together his Pokedex. Sometimes you have to go far away, as uh, so you should let someone know. Ah, oh, but first, go help your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, be seeing ya. But yeah, when it comes to your favorite Pokemon, it usually comes from your own personal experiences with that Pokemon. So I don't forget what's happened till now. I'd better save this. There, now I can take a break. Yeah, that was too fast. Oh, wow, Pokemon are so cool! You can make yours battle and make them stronger! I wish I had some, it's so cool! Oh, it actually shows a map of the town! That's very cool. I like that, that's a cool little thing. Lucas's house. The thing you have, it's a Pokedex, isn't it? You're off to see all kinds of Pokemon, lucky you! For a non-profit organization, the Pokemon Center does really well. Well, when <laughs> a universal health care is actually tended to by the masses and the governments, it actually works out really well. And plus, it's the Pokemon world. I don't even know if we pay taxes here. Who knows? Maybe the Pokemon League is like, we love Pokemon so much, we will attend to their every need. The top floor of any Pokemon Center is the Pokemon Communications Club. There you can have all sorts of fun with your friends. I don't have friends. Talk to that nice lady at the counter and hand her your Pokemon. She'll heal your Pokemon to perfect health in no time at all and totally won't steal them. Do you see that PC over there? That fancy blue one. If you've got a Pokemon with you, it's free to use. But only if you have Pokemon. If you don't have Pokemon, you're a broke-ass bitch and you need to get out of here. I wonder if there's discrimination against people who don't carry around Pokemon with them. Oh, you don't have a Pokemon? You're so not cool. Die. If you come across a Pokemon, you've just gotta have. Toss a Pokeball. Never leave home without one. If a Pokemon loses all its HP, it can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid having that happen. Welcome to capitalism. Well, buy ten. And maybe give us a Premier Ball? Yeah, Premier Ball! <laughs> oh, you're probably not gonna be able to get much. Shows you what you know, Lucas! Man, I think I'm too dirty-minded for my own good. Welcome to the internet. It does that to you. And hello, hello. We are playing Pokemon Platinum because we can. I just beat Explorers of Sky Pokemon Mystery Dungeon a little while ago, and I desire more Pokemon adventure. I'm gonna try and catch a Starly. You get five anyway. I made that mistake. Eh, who cares? I've got money. And now I've got Pokeballs to catch Pokemons. Sorry, level two Badoof, you've gotta die. Go, Lancelot, my penguin! Kill that beaver! My non-shiny Lucario turned shiny for a competition. Break the laws of reality for a bit more points. That's hilarious. Your, your Lucario went through a magical girl transformation to be like, I am fantastic! 
now I'm imagining, like, Pokemon, when they blush, instead of turning red, their, like, fur, feathers, or whatever, turn their shiny colors. So you'd never know a Garchomp is... Of course, I run into, like, a single Starly. I want a Starly. I want a, I want a Starly bird. Let's see how much Stab does. How dare you hit my bird. My bird will hit you back. Just gonna say it, I don't like shiny Lucario. Yeah, because sometimes the shiny colors can be quite extreme or weird. So I can understand not liking certain shinies. I'm trying to put together the PMD streams in a list for people's convenience. Like, when I upload them myself, they also get added into, like, proper... blah 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 Aha! Starly! Yeah. Whenever I upload the stream VODs, they get added to the specific ones. Specific playlists. It's mostly because, like, uh, I keep the stream, like, stream stream VODs unlisted just because I can for posterity. And then upload the more high-quality recordings for the proper posterity. Get in the ball, Starly. You'll be my bird. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now, what are we going to call you? I like the music in this game. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Like society. What kind of nickname shall we give you? Hmm. I know. Let's call you Nova. Come along, Nova. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> I wish this game didn't cost two organs to buy. The second hand... Oh, yeah, God. Pokemon Platinum technically counts as... Pokemon Platinum's entering in the realm of retro, isn't it? God, that feels so wrong. That feels so wrong. Everyone goes off on adventures, and then they gradually grow up. Well, I'm gonna grow up to become a serial killer. That'll be a fun adventure. Welcome home, Neon. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. I came to tell you I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh God, it is. Like, think of this. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is gonna be 20 years old next year. 20th anniversary. Because Red and Blue Rescue Team came out in 2005 in Japan. It's a nightmare world. It <laughs> doesn't feel right. Exactly. What is it, Neon? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Neon. I've got something that you'll find useful. Remember to journal. It'll help with your depression. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Mom knocks me out with a frying pan, steals my Pokemon, and goes on an adventure. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Neon. I'll be all right by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Did Barry not tell you? Excuse me, is my little Barry here? He got ADHD'd and he ran away. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this kind of emotional damage of being told Pokemon Platinum is retro now. <laughs> Does that mean that Pokemon character has memory loss? Depends on the Pokemon character, really. I remember when Street Pass was going down like a wildfire. <laughs> yeah, it's just insane that right now, the majority of us probably think, oh, classical, like, Final Fantasy. You think are like, oh, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VII. That's the classical old Final Fantasy. 
And then you remember, Final Fantasy X and XII are probably older now than the classic art Final Fantasies were when we thought they were classic. It's insane. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have already left. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. You need to get him a leash. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Neon will deliver that to him. Won't you, Neon? Oh, really? You'd do that for me? Neon, please take this to Barry for me. A parcel. I'll bash him over the head with it. Bye-bye, Neon. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. I'll bury Barry in this parcel. X and Y being 10 is already hard enough to hear. God, that hurts. And I, th <laughs> and I thought that, like, knowing that... I should save quickly. And here I thought, already knowing that, like, Mystery Dungeon is 20 years old would already be hard enough, but man... Okay, good. <laughs> Saving doesn't take five billion years unless it's the first saved. We'll do some swap training for Nova. I want to get Nova to, like, level five, maybe. I might have to, like, finagle with the... Bubba ba The time, in case there's, like, time-sensitive Pokemon or something. Then again, I probably prefer a bunch of... Night Pokemon to day Pokemon anyway. I hate that there are people younger than X and Y. It doesn't feel right. They feel like they shouldn't be allowed. I remember playing Pokemon Mario Pokemon Kart. No, Mario Kart DS when I was younger. Same. Mario Kart DS. It was great. It was a fun time. Then again, my like uh feeling of uh blah 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 like games that are old or young is off because my family kept their like blah 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 kept like the the NES and Nintendo 64 that we had from years prior so I had already kind of known a bunch of older games like I remember when we got our first Wii when it was new, we went to, a, like, <laughs> this was when Wii's were selling out everywhere, and we still managed to, like, get a Wii relatively early because there was one left in stock at the GameStop. And the gentleman there said, if you, uh, like, because uh, one of my brothers went to check it out, check out the blah, blah, blah check out the GameStop in the mall while we were walking around the mall, as you do, and the gentleman there was about to buy the last Wii, but since there was, like, two kids, they were like, hey, we, uh, is there a Wii for sale here? And he was like, hey, if you bring your parents quick enough, I'll let you have it. And, yeah, my mother went there, bought the Wii, and we got a Wii relatively early. It was a fun time. Random memory to have. <laughs> Seeing people being born after the year 2010, that shit doesn't feel right. It's just... It's so weird, ain't it? I use a Wii U because it's a Wii emulator, basically. I have a... I've, I have a Wii to be a GameCube emulator. And then I have a Wii U to be a Wii emulator. I'm kind of sad that the Wii U had such a, like, poor reception. Because I liked it. It was fun. The gimmick was actually kind of interesting. And I feel like it could have been cool, but... Sadly, poor marketing. Oh, hey, Lucas. And then the 3DS is an everything emulator if modded. Ain't it? I kind of wish that I had a, like, proper 3DS capture card, and then I could, like, mod the 3DS to do everything, but nope. Guess I have to settle for, uh, uh, for emulating 3DS through Citra. 
I think you can also use the Wii emulator to, uh, to be a GameCube emulator. Yep, the uh, dolphin. Oh, and I, I clicked when I was, didn't read it all properly. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch, okay? I already caught a starling. I swear if you get a, a shiny in there, I'm going to murder you. Good. <laughs> My starling was two levels higher than that Bidoof. Oh, you got Chimchar. That makes sense. I already know how to do this. I'm a more of an expert. I have already been champion of Kanto and Johto and uh, whatever Emerald's Land is. I forget its name because my memory is shit. I've been a Pokemon. I am more worldly than you, Lucas. Go back to Mother 3. Honestly, Nintendo Land was peak. We should have had online. It would have been perfect. It probably would have been very cool. I don't... I, actually, no, I think I did play a little bit of Nintendo Land when I first got my Wii U. I remember, like... Uh, what is it called? The Wonderful 101. The Wonderful 101 was amazing. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. You know what? I'm gonna have a hot take. I think every single Pokemon should have a fifth attack slot that is dedicated to False Scratch, or whatever it's called, so that you have an attack that does little damage, but can't KO, so that you can guarantee, like, the Pokemon is at its lowest HP, I can focus on other things. I think, I think that would be a nice quality of life thing to have. Really mad that I lost my platinum copy years back. Now all I got is black, black two, and white two. I myself should still have blue, silver, pearl, platinum, Y, I think. Or did I get X? My memory is shit. False swipe, yeah. <laughs> Every encounter I got before getting uh, Pokeballs and Ultra Ruby was a shiny. Oh! Oh, that's mean! Haven't found a single shiny since then. The game targeted you. It, the, the game made that personal. You know what? Good take. Yeah, I'm happy that it's a good take. I think that would just be nice. A dedicated attack slot just so that, hey, I want to do a little more damage, but I don't want to KO. I think that'd be nice. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Oh yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep or such. Here, Neon, I'll give you five Pokeballs to get you started. I now have 13 Pokeballs and one Premier Ball. I have I've cheesed the game. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel farther. That way, you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around. I can't play Emerald anymore because I played it on my brother's Game Boy SP. Ah. Ah. Uh, junior Jump Scare. You're a Pokemon trainer, and so am I! Our eyes met, so a battle we must! Technically, you saw the side of my head. Did I give you a- did I give you a side eye, Tristan? Go back to Yu-Gi-Oh! My- oh shit, your- Your Starly's better than my Starly. We're gonna fix that. Oh yeah, but now my brain, since I've started playing this, my brain has immediately gone- What if- all of, like, what if, like, a cast of characters from a Pokemon game got through, thrown into, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world? And I'm just wondering how that'd go. I think it'd be interesting. We'll give you one more growl, because you're a trainer Pokemon and we want to murder you. <laughs> I think you can buy DS Lights for less than a pack of cards, Lamal. That would be actually kind of funny. All this time, you've tried to be doing damage. And my damage outdamages your damage. <laughs> Very could would, would just not die, no questions asked. I think that he would just have insane luck. Barry would somehow survive. <laughs> not sure why autocorrect added the could. I don't know uh, either. One time, 
I was uh, writing a story chapter for a fan fiction, and I put like the word static into a sentence, and autocorrect wanted to make it like static blood, and it just makes no sense. <laughs> Hi, first video I've seen of you. Thank you for joining us today. We've been enjoying enjoying this here Pokemon Platinum. Since I beat Mystery Dungeon, Explores the Sky, I figured more Pokemon and gives me a break from Mystery Dungeon so I can be refueled for when I get to Gates to Infinity next. Don't be shy about talking to trainers you'd like to battle. Pokemon grow stronger and stronger from battling. Of course they do. Well, have another fight. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. <laughs> money, please. That's why I say to you, because I'm going to be taking your money, last Natalie. You know what? I'm going to use my turns, a few turns with Nova to lower your attack so I can then throw Lancelot in. So you can do extra damage. And plus, your growls will do nothing because Nova's not going to be attacking you. See, how much damage do you do? Not much, honestly. Nova might be able to take you in a fight. And you do one. Let's see. Can Nova solo this Bidoof? Maybe. <laughs> Nova is somehow the most hardcore name for a little silly bird guy. For some reason, I thought of it because... Oh, of course you get a critical hit, you bitch. Lancelot, go murder this bitch. Use bubble. Drown it with bubbles. And your speed fell. Haha. Uh -huh. How come I've had two Bidoofs crit me? I just realized. Two Bidoofs have critted me. In the past hour. That feels odd. Damn it. And that was going to be so much experience for Nova. Nova was going to get so much experience. Oh, boo, I can't win. And I only got 80 Poke Dollars for that. That doesn't even buy a Pokeball. You are a cheap lass, lady. Bop, 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 bop. Heal my poor Nova. Oh yeah, I was going on about why I named Nova Nova. It's because I was hooked on the idea of Star. And since she was a girl, I figured, hmm, Star something maybe. But then I thought Nova. So that she can be a badass Starly that will rock the world. <laughs> you ever just find your friend in a public place randomly? That happens sometimes. You live in a place long enough, you meet him. You meet people, you get to know them. It's a Shinx! Oh! How can you be intimidated by that? That's an adorable little lion cub. You are going to be mine. <laughs> Shake my head. Come battle me when you aren't broke as fuck. <laughs> Only slightly. It's not my fault that they decided to... Yeah, I should probably swap out to uh, Lancelot. We're gonna have to go back and heal immediately after. <laughs> like those guys from Guardians of the Galaxy. It's been a while since I've watched Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I just thought of it. I, I'm, I'm afraid that that might actually, if I hit him, the game might be mean and be like, Oh, you get a crit. This is where False Swipe would be nice. <laughs> Because I did while eating a pizza place, literally two lanes over, didn't notice my friend. Yeah, until I was leaving. Happens sometimes. <laughs> Lancelot is weak to him, uh, yeah, the electric type. Yep. But luckily, I think this Shinx is so low level, he doesn't have any electric moves. Shinx is just a goofy little guy. He's just friend-shaped. <laughs> exactly. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. And what are we going to name you, my little lady? Hmm. Hmm. 
What shall we call you? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, a part of me is like, hey, be basic and call her Sparks, but I don't think so. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Trying to think of a good name for you. Nothing's coming to mind. Oh, I know! I'll cut. It, it might seem like a weird name, but this is perfect. I'm gonna call her Amp, named after Amp Plains, because originally, in Explorers of Time and Darkness, the Amp Plains boss was the evolution of Shinx. But when they added Shinx as a playable starter in Explorers of Sky, they changed it to Manectric. So yeah, come on, Amp. Wouldn't it be a bad thing to glow when in trouble? Like, wouldn't that just make it easier for uh, predators to spot it? Could also make it easier for, like, since it's a Shinx, it could also make it easier for, like, a Shinx's parents to be like, Oh, my child is in danger! Ah! And uh, find him. I'm just gonna swap in Lancelot, because I'm not gonna give you a chance to get another crit, you badoof bastard. When after leaving shortly, I see a meme in my friend's GameCube. And it's a meme about my random encounter with a friend, like a rival. <laughs> That's how it goes. Just the whims of fate. Before you know it, you're going to be thrown into the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. And you'll meet that friend again. You're just like, how did we meet again? It should be impossible. Ah, Novo learned Quick Attack. Good for you. Ba, 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 ba. But I guess as we do just a little bit of grinding and catching and backing and forthing, I have been doing a little bit of writing. Because it, it's supposed to be like a Valentine's special based off of my Explorers of Sky playthrough. And sadly haven't gotten much drawing done of like the various ideas. I had just an entire brain crash yesterday. That nuked motivation for that day. Come on, Amp, we'll put you in front to swap in Lancelot some for experience. But I hope to make some of the art ideas I have, as well as blah blah blah. Just various, various things. I need to be motivated. I need to draw more. I need to. You literally only have tackle. <laughs> But yeah, I need to draw more. I need to everything more. Everything more. I also grabbed Piplup. It is my HM slave now. Sadness. Did you make a scientifically accurate Pokemon Mystery Dungeon where it's a survival game and the Pokemon try and eat each other? I don't think they'd ever do that. I wouldn't mind, like, quote unquote, darker Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Where there's, like, just a bit more, like, seriousness to the story. But I don't think I'd want them to actually be like, ah, they eat each other. Barely survived, Amp. Good for you. That'll kickstart your leveling adventure. How's the Cresselia meme going? Sadly, have not started. I did get a template of the background for that meme. But I've yet to start drawing it because of the aforementioned just brain emotional crash that yesterday inflicted upon me. <laughs> For me, all that happened yesterday was me losing power because of snow. What is with all the snow lately? We got snow on Sunday. People I know in a Discord I'm in got a bunch of snow. <laughs> Just madness. This is madness! Madness. Madness! Madness. This is Sparta! For surf and waterfall. Yeah, that makes sense. When can we be rid of the evils of the HM? We should be free of it, and it's evil. In fact, I think they started to do that in later games. I still find it hilarious that in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team, they forced HMs into the game in an obtuse way that did the same thing. 
as they did in, like, the main games. And then, in Explorers, they're like, yeah, we're not gonna do that anymore. Because they grew a brain. I mean, they're pretty open about... Well, I'm gonna read this. Let's have a Pokemon battle, <laughs> but I'm gonna win! I mean, they're pretty open about uh, Predator and Prey in the mainline games, but it might be worse since they can talk in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I mean, like, <laughs> in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, there was a team of a Wurmple being afraid of his uh, team leader because he was a bird, and that was a whole arc. But it could also kind of help that the Predator-Prey aspect is only ever talked about in, like, Pokedex entries, so it's never front and center. So they can kind of get away with it. Kind of like all the references to people fucking Pokemon in the series. Just ever so slightly here or there. Sometimes obvious, like in the manga, where a tentacruel groped their their trainer in the bathtub. And, like, other, like, oblique references. In Co Colosseum, an old lady having a mighty Ena boyfriend. I never get snow for some reason. Depends where you live. Well, I guess not anymore. Uh, but still, chances. I, w I like winter, yeeting snowballs. Never actually thrown so much snowballs. Oh, hey, speaking of balls. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning. Some only come out at night. I'll keep looking till I've seen them all. I have 50 dive HMs in Explorers of Sky. Technically, they're TMs, which is why I constantly joked that the rescue team team would be so frustrated like that the continent that Explorers takes place on just it gives HMs out like candy. What do you mean you get dive just for finding it in a w random dungeon? We had to go into a lake, like a, a super dungeon. We had to bring a key. We had to find a specific lock. And then it's only like that one. If we lose that one, we have to go back to that same dungeon with another key. What do you mean you just find it on the floor? Then you got it just by doing some recycling. The manga is fucking wild. Yep. Fun fact, in Scarlet and Violet... Oh, Ampler Leer, good for you. <laughs> She's got that boss bitch face. But, fun fact, in Scarlet and Violet, in order to evolve Primeape into an, uh... Enialape, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, Primeape has to die. I think I did hear that. <laughs> that is kind of... kind of dark. Then again, this is Pokemon, where people die and become Pokemon. Like, um, Yamask and Phantump. <laughs> Though, again, they constantly make you double, like, guess. Like, oh, is the Pokedex accurate? Like how in, uh, Legends Arceus, a Drifloom only, like, kind of kidnaps a child, and it's more like, hey, let's keep playing, rather than I'm going to take this child to hell. Annihilate. Ah, oh, that's how it... Yeah, that makes sense. This ghost monkey will murder you into being a ghost. Welcome to the big city. Hey, Neon, how many Pokemon have you caught? I think you should catch more. I caught two already. I, met, I caught one before I even met you the second time. It might be more of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you'll be. That's right. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. There's a great place for that. Come on. It's, uh, it's all right. Follow me. Autocorrect was being dumb. I can understand that. Again, Autocorrect once wanted to change static in a sentence to static blood. I think in Smash Bros. it ha says Ponyta's hooves are as hard as diamond and it can jump over the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That guy, what's he doing? Being a weirdo. Uh, excuse? What? How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the International Police? Oh, uh, what? Are you kidding? I was just making small talk. Heh, <laughs> you claim you were only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, no, no. You recognized right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome! Quite admirable you are. 
Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am a globe-trotting elite of the International Police. My name... Ah, uh, no, I shall inform you only of my code name. My code name is Looker. It is what they call me, for I am quite the Looker. And I like looking at people and Pokemon. Look at that Bidoof. Gaze upon its balls. Incidentally, is the saying, don't be a thief, familiar to you? No. No, you claim to not know it? How could that be? Perhaps your mama has said it, but have forgotten it like usual? Now listen, my friends. It is wrong to take what belongs to others. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. I have therefore been on the lookout for characters arousing my arousing suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes. Perhaps you can use make use of this. I can record my versus matches. That versus recorder is a nifty device for recording a match. I obtained it because it is quite popular these days. All the kids like it for the TikTok challenge. But myself, I do not do Pokemon battling very often. It will be in better hands with you. Also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, for I am on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I'm lonely. No, no. You must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. He's a weird guy. <laughs> I miss Looker returning in post game of later Pokemon games. Oh, he does that? That's cool. I think I'd take Hitmonlee in a f <laughs> I think I could take Hitmonlee in a fight. Yeah, in a fight, you say. <laughs> what is bro yapping about? Looking at things, apparently. Wait, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum introduced the book saying that in the past, people in Pokemon got married. Legends Arceus is in the past of those games. <laughs> Let me marry Alpha Gardevoir. That's what everyone was saying. But it could also be that, more specifically, I think, well, in the censored-ish version, I think, of the American release, I think, it was more like they ate at the same table, po humans were once Pokemon. So it's probably referring to more ancient-ish times, but still, let me marry my Gardevoir! Like, what's the limit of how much Pokemon you think you could take in a fight? Depends on the Pokemon. And also depends if I get, like, Team Rocket scaling defense. Like, can I take a Thunderbolt and walk it off? Or am I a normal human where one Thunderbolt's gonna kill me? <laughs> Working for the International Police sounds hard. Yeah, and here we are. This is the trainer's school. The name says it all. Your pal Barry went in earlier. He might still be studying in there. Barry's ass does not read. Okay, see you around. <laughs> what about Lopunny? They gave it tights for its mega evolution. I think even after humans stopped being Pokemon, they still fucked. In the union room upstairs, you can chat and trade with other people. And that's not all you can do. Check it out. I will not. You know how Pokemon have types like water, fire, and grass? Well, all types have strengths and weaknesses against other types. Like, ice is weak to everything. You can still catch a Pokemon if you already have six traveling with you. It automatically gets sent to the PC network in the Pokemon centers. Knowing that, I can keep on catching more and more Pokemon. It'll make it more fun to check the PC at any Pokemon center. I horribly almost misread six. <laughs> I could take on Arceus with prep time. Arceus just summons his thousands of hands. Bitch slaps you with all of them. I think I can take a Zorark anyway but not in a fight. And Brain went to a place. Let's just say that it, that it had mention of the ponytail. Fun fact, if one Pokemon had every type, it would be weak to grass. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes a true Pokemon trainer. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with man-made items like potions and anecdotes. Maybe they just reject society, return to monkey. Oh, not grass, rock. <laughs> still funny that every type Pokemon weak to still weak to something. It's perfectly fine for trainers and Pokemon to develop at their own pace. If there's anything you're not familiar with, you can look it up here. Hey, Neon, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Neon, what brings you, huh? You got something for me? Here's your parcel, bitch. 
So what is this? Oh, it's a town map, huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Neon, you take one. I think that was the point. Huh. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. I'm on the road to Viridian City. See you around. Why are these two just standing there? What are they, mannequins? We learned about Pokemon types today. Um, grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. This bitch has never played rock, paper, scissors. Doing it is the best way to learn. Can we battle with you? Sure. Go, my Pokemon, go! That is completely the wrong voice, but that is now your voice, Harrison. Damn you for having a level six motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna swap out to Lancelot. I was gonna swap in Nova, but uh, you used an item, you little bitch. I hate the Pokemon vs. Lions debate. Mac Cargo, Yevatel Mewtwo, Arceus Ditto Mew. It is kind of uh, a funky little debate, but. For me, I think it's mostly meant to be funny, aha, like... What is seen as the apex of normal, like, world creature versus the fantastical. It's kind of like, um, like, can a billion lions beat the best stands from JoJo? I think it can be funny. And I think most people goes like, yes, if you go to the top tier... The lions obviously lose, but it's just funny to think about and, like, scrutinize. It's just a fun little brain teaser. And I forgot to read what he said. Ah, oh, it's Harrison. Who cares? But at the same time, it is perfectly fine if you don't like it. Because sometimes your own experiences with a specific thing can really taint it in your mind, so it's perfectly fine if you don't like the debate. I find it amusing, but I also haven't been overly exposed to it. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Why do you only have one Pokemon then, though? I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but maybe battle? I need to try the things I learned before I forget them. You gotta apply yourself. Come on, Kid Christine. A million lions is a lot of lions, though. <laughs> now my brain just went, like, what if... <laughs> All the Pokemon ran out of power points. Then I guess I would still have, like, the Thrash, so... I guess it would still kind of work. Let's see if Amp can do it on her own. And if not, we can throw Nova in. Unless this... Damn you. Why did I miss? Bastard. It doesn't matter how many lines you have. Tossing them at the sun will kill them. Now, I wonder how many, like, meteorites have ran into the sun. And even if it is a ridiculous thing, the song, like, I have an army of tigers, we will uh, stop the sun tonight, is a banger of a song from Jonathan Young. Good job, Amp. You won the day and you gotta level up. I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. Remember, book smarts and street smarts are two different things. We were actually confident that we could do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like, talk to my friend and get a nice item from him. Wow, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we were no match for you at all. You've been able to use this potion properly. Here you go. Honestly, it's funny that your wife in Pokemon World uh, could be a Ditto or a Zorak illusion or transform. Or like that one guy, like in Legends Arceus, could be a Frostlass. Matt Cargo is hotter than the surface of the sun, and yet you can still touch it in the Pokemon World. Again, sometimes, can we really trust it, the Pokedex? Then again, maybe Matt Cargo can get to hotter than the sun? but it, like, can control its temperature or something? I don't know. 
<laughs> if you think about it, nighttime is the natural state of the universe. Yeah, because darkness is just like the absence of light. It's just changed by a big flaming sphere. But if the lions build a bubble around the mag cargo to protect the other lions, the mag cargo just drowns in dead bodies. Hello, trainer. Do you much about Pokemon? Yes, I see. You are knowledgeable. I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit the trainer school then. But do visit if you have the time. You may discover something new. I'm training Pokemon with my buddy. I made the Pokemon hold an item before training it. That'll make the other trainer double happy. Unless you give it an Everstone like a bitch. Past here is the Global Terminal, your gateway to the world. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have any gym badges. The Global Terminal is off limits. If you don't have gym badges, sorry. Then why don't you have doors? Why do you have, like, this entire section that nobody can go to in this world? Hello, man. Oh, 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 you call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Pokete... Poketch? That is, Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Pokete Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. Well, I think I already found one. You. If you can find them, I'll gift you with a Poketch. I need to find Looker again. Okay, set six Pokeballs in my belt. Yeah, that'll do. At most, you can have six Pokemon with you. Unless you're Alder. Then you can have all the Pokemon in the world. Hi! I'm a Poketch campaign clown! Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience? Yes. Ding ding! You're absolutely correct! Pokemon grow stronger by defeating others in battle. And only in battle. Unless you send them to the Pokemon of uh, the Pokemon daycare, then they become stronger through fucking. Some Pokemon even grow into an entirely different form in the process, known as evolution. Here you go, your Pokech Cuban. And plus, wouldn't some of the Pokemon fight each other? I think in this scenario, it is implied that the Pokemon work together for the greater good of the world. Just kind of like a limitation. Much like how a million lions would probably fight amongst themselves, too. You believe cities built on land they carved out of a mountain. The people in Pokemon of Urbo City helped out with that undertaking. Lore. Imagine Darkrai versus a lucid dreamer. I already control my dreams. Hi, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Oh, for the union room. I don't have friends. I have no group at all. Hello, small child. I thought you were the clown for a moment. I forgot to read. Did you see me on TV? I was in an interview. No one ever saw that little child. The, the camera wasn't rolling. Hi! I'm a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. A Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. Ash is just shorter than a Lucario. Lucario is 311. Ash is 310. It could be that his Lucario is just really, really tall. Or maybe the Pokemon world is short on average. What if Necrozma possess a lion and then uses it to go Ultra Necrozma? Ultra Lion. <laughs> the Ultra Lion. Now, where's the final clown? Or did it spawn behind us somehow? Hiya, oh, yeah, where'd you come from? Twinleaf Town, huh? It's a nice place, quiet and all. Jubilee City is a big place, so it might be a bit of a shock to you. Hey, it's Looker. I think he'll say, hey, fuck off. <laughs> go get a poke edge, bitch. Yo, Mr. Clown, the fuck are you? <laughs> when the game is more confident that you've got friends yourself. Wait a minute. Why does the, like, sound cry actually kind of sound like it's saying Pachirisu? Nah, Charizard is 5'11 and Ash rides on it. <laughs> so yeah, the Pokemon world is, like, canonically just shorter on average. Hello there, trainer. If you get some stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Go places. Go wherever you can. You'll find many new places by doing just that. 
Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures. But to trainers, the key thing is to do is battle with their Pokemon. In bed. But that's what it boils down to. It's truck full of Pokemon books and photo collections. We're gonna invade this place. By the Pokemon Center. Ah, we'll go there then. Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they can take on completely different forms. That's like most Pokemon, kid. Evolution makes Pokemon just that much more fascinating. The mysteries of evolution. Can that dandy Professor Rowan unravel them? I'm fairly certain that there have been like three other professors who've tried that. Didn't Professor Rowan conduct research of Professor Oak of the Kanto region? Now you are a person of culture, knowing our dear Professor Oak. Put respect on that tree's name. Yeah, because we already talked to this clown. He was coupon one, I think. Ah, oh, there you are. He's just over here by the... Poke of course, it's in front of the Poketch Company. Hi! I'm a Poketch Campaign Clown! Let's roll out my question. Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types. All of the answers were yes. If the Pokemon's type matches its moves type, the move is made much more powerful. Here you go. <laughs> there is art of Ultra Necrozma fighting other legendaries uh, at the same time, and they're struggling to defeat Necrozma. What if Necrozma teams up with the Lions to fight the other Pokemon? Yeah, it depends. It could just be <laughs> the world decided, and now Necrozma shall be the ultimate Pokemon winning the day here. Other times it's Mewtwo, the most powerful Pokemon. Other times it's not. It depends on what the story they're telling through the art. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll use the Poketch here. One, two, three. Bravo, I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you this Pokemon watch. Or Poketch for short. And now we have time. You can add apps to your Poketch to make it even more versatile. Touch the Poketch screen and find the apps you that are all right for you. Click it. Ah, oh, we can check out our team. Ah, oh, the step counter. Cool. The calc- <laughs> I love that they just have a calculator in here. I guess I'll have this. I like maps. Maps can be nice. I have a map making software, but I keep forgetting to make maps for my stories. Well, let's see. Now where do we go? <laughs> Looker disappeared. I should have talked to him. Damn it. Let's see. Jubilee City, City of Joy. Oh, I do have the town map, so I could look at that. Oh, your Pokemon are quite adorable. Here, try making it hold this quick claw. Now my Pokemon can become God. Mewtwo would probably throw you if you attempted to hug him. But he just has those thick thighs, though. Oh, hello, darling. This isn't my Poketch quite fetching. It's the latest design that just came out. I obtained it instantly, of course. A trainer would simply be lost without a Poketch after all. It's a new thing, Grandma! Did you buy some heal balls to the Pokemart? A heal ball completely heals the Pokemon it captures on the spot. Which is useless to me because the Pokemon Center is just right there. That means you can catch a Pokemon and have it battle ready right away. Of course, if your team has six Pokemon, it won't do any good. <laughs> Such a niche ball. I like how Pokemon can use attacks that make things fun and different. Sometimes when they get stronger, Pokemon learn new moves. That keeps things fresh and fun when using moves. Yeah, but seriously, why did they give Mewtwo such thick-ass thighs? What is this building, anyway? <laughs> the condominiums ten tenants wondered. Fucking landlords stealing all the land. I have a theory. The three legendary dogs were created from the original evolutions. Not only do they have the same types, but the same abilities. That could maybe be it. Could be an interesting thing. <laughs> Mewtwo's tail is an Ekans biting its dick. <laughs> I think I actually heard that joke not too long ago. Fancy fearing it twice. I remember when Hyper Potions healed 200 HP. The good old days. Unless they upped it. I forget. Brain's dumb. 
I think the Dream Ball is superior to Heal Ball. <laughs> Ain't that just how it is? I wonder if I can just go to the Poketch company and be like, hey, give me apps. Do you have apps on your phone? Oh, you can be sure I'll keep developing Poketch apps, just like Pokemon. My Poketch is something that evolves! Hi, hi, I'm the president of the Poketch company. I'm developing a new Poketch app, but it's not quite dumb. I guess that it'll be ready when you get a gym badge. You have great estimation skills. Welcome to the Poketch company. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressive. You have a giant building! How do you watch TV? Poketch detect... Hey, do you watch TV? Poketch Detective is a great show. This is a new invention. How does it have a show already? Seeing that program compels me to use my Poketch more. Capitalist propaganda. Hello, I'm Jubilee TV. May I hit up for a quick interview? Sure. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. May I ask you which Poketch app you use the most? The Pokemon list, I see. May I have your comment on the Pokemon list? Sure. Shiny Ekans even matches Shiny Mewtwo. Hilarious. <laughs> Choose a word or phrase. Let's see, is there like cleverness? Because it gives me information. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how, how it looks on TV. You are just TikTok, but in the world of Pokemon on TV. We'll try to think like a trainer and find what Pokechaps would be good. I've been braiding eggs uh, routes for like two hours and the different natures become <laughs> because I'm a schizophrenic, I mean, a shiny hunter. Yeah, shiny hunting is kind of mad, isn't it? <laughs> you know why those thighs are thick, Neon? Because people like some thick thighs. And hello, by the way, and hello to you too. Pokemon Watch, that's Poketch for short. Say it the long way, and what does Pokemon stand for again? Anyway, I'm the father of the president of the Poketch company. Ah, nepotism. Or maybe, maybe they just work out of their house. They just kept expanding. My husband's the president. We started out in a small workshop where he made it what he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. The trash can is empty. He has fucking cubicles. There are descriptions of Poketchaps. Which Poketchap would you like to read about? I don't care about the calculator. Child labor. Do you have a Poketch? There's a girl's model and a boy's model, each in different colors. And I'm sure capitalism dictates the girl's watch is more expensive. But then again, I got it for free, so I guess I got a steal. People everywhere make Poketch apps. You'll be able to get new apps from surprising sources. The PCs here have guides to the various Poketch apps. So... I... The Pokemon company likes homebrew? Like, that's kind of amusing to me. I have 300 plus Rialu eggs, amateur. My brain immediately went to, wow, Silas has been busy. Sure, technically not how eggs kind of work, but we don't know. <laughs> Smartwatches, like, a few years before smartwatches really became a thing. We'll give it to Lancelot so Lancelot can become god. I'm not hind hunt shiny hunting for it. I just need the different natures because of the synchronizability for shiny legendaries. Man. <laughs> Silas and Neon have been very busy lately. Well, I am riding a Valentine's one shot. Let's see. Town map. So I can go to Canalive City. <laughs> Iron Island. I guess we'll run that way just to see what it's like. Florama, Orberg. So we'll probably go Canalave just to see what's happening over there. Then we'll run to Orberg since uh, the boy Barry said. Ooh, you actually get a zoomed in version. Neat. Oh, and it gives you descriptions. Let's see. The most modernized city in Sinnoh region. It's a bustling with people on the go. Despite being so close to a big town, this patch retains its relaxed natural atmosphere. I guess because we haven't been there, it doesn't have anything. It doesn't involve the D-Stone and the V-Stone. Not the original idea, but maybe an expansion. <laughs> Is that why I also found a shiny Zoroa? Hey, you give my daughter back here. Route 218 up ahead is Great Fishing Hole that's almost unknown to people. That's why you're telling people about it. 
You, s yes, sir. An old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Sure. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. The implications are terrifying. You should fish wherever there is a body of water. Oh, and by the way, did you need any tips? No. When you're fishing for Pokemon, the first hurdle is getting a bite. When you reel in a Pokemon, you've got to battle it. So fishing gives you twice the fun. How can a fish fight when it's already on the hook? And then just there's a <laughs> X accuracy here. I'm also driven by the fact I got a shiny Necrozma earlier today. Ooh, lucky you. <laughs> to be fair, it was originally in Zorua. I can't believe N went to the Pokemon world and stole my daughter. The bastard. I guess we'll uh, throw out a single rod usage. And if we get something, we get something. If we don't, we don't. I'll land at a Pokemon. I wonder if people can go missing and be replaced by Pokemon. I'm not leveling up a magic card. I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, ditto, Zoroark, maybe some legendaries. I can't believe in. From Pokemon, TM would do this. Plus, <laughs> this must be his evil twin brother, M. Because N would be like a world where there are only Pokemon. Let's gather up all the Pokemon in the world and send them to the Mystery Dungeon universe. While this M is like, I'm going to go to this world of only Pokemon and bring them back to the human world. <laughs> Ninja ninjas also no transform. Goodbye, Magikarp. <laughs> 17 experience. Which is still not that bad, all things considered. I wish that I could, like, click and drag. Wait, I wonder. Ah, but we can just go in there. Interesting. So if you want to go into that menu, you can do it super easily. Neon confirmed to be a little driven to have children. Only in the fictional universes. N strives for Pokemon freedom. M only plays Pal World and encourages the poor treatment of them. God, M would create Pal World. <laughs> M would create Pal World. He's like, oh, my brother cares so much for Pokemon. I'm going to shoot them. Hey, Neon, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. I should have grinded more. Latios tried to date Ash. Or was it Latios, the red one? Latias. Latios is blue. Damn it. His is better than mine. I shall growl at him. And then quick attack. Is Volo just the evil version of me? Maybe. <laughs> He's Volo. <laughs> because YOLO. <laughs> What about their long-lost cousin? Oh. <laughs> and then their long-lost cousin cousin, L. Although that that cousin is too busy solving the, the Kira murders. <laughs> what about P? We don't talk about P. Forget it. This isn't over yet. I hit you once. Why'd you take so much offense to that? <laughs> the Ultra Detective L. He was so smart, he fell into a world that was only humans. And Shinigami. You are just using a bunch of growls. <laughs> P only grabs yellow Pokemon. That's an insult to people who collect yellow Pokemon. I love how the top 10 Pokemon facts, it says you can trade Pokemon cards. Hey, you know, you can trade them too. You, you don't need to collect them all. You can let other people have them. <laughs> L is just Larry. 
I can't believe M and N are related to a cucumber that believes in Arceus. Rival dialogue in this fight is turn uh, is turn and Pokemon based. Interesting. I just find it funny that the turn he decided to talk was the turn that I hit his Pokemon for the first time. So it's like I hit him once. This isn't over. Yes, we're just starting. Why you get all the critical hit, you bitch? Level up for Nova. Yes. And level up for Amp. Do your ancestors good justice, Amp, for Amp Plains. Hmm. Actually, I'll keep Amp out to lower your defense a bit. Leah. Oh, yeah, you're also going to do a bunch of withdrawals, aren't you? So I should probably smack you while you're due withdrawals. Oh, crap. Well, I was growled at a lot, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What would be Volo's real-world equivalent? Like, he isn't an atheist. What's the word for someone who believes in God but really fucking, wants to, fucking hates him? Hmm, I don't know. It also says in the top 10 facts that Pokemon can battle. Fancy that. <laughs> v for Volo, his other universe counterpart Y for YOLO, the kind individual. You see, Volo failed to fight God. YOLO will someday fight God. <laughs> Satanist? I don't think so. Okay, now I get the critical hit. Yay. Then again, Volo did team up with Giratina. And that was like, my god has abandoned me. I hate everything. <laughs> Giratina. I guess I'll keep growling at you. I'll do one more growl. Then I guess I'll keep smacking you until you get a smack on me, and then I'll swap. How did we go super religious? We were talking about otherworldly, like, individuals of, like, there's N, then there's M, and then we just went all over the place. So I looked up uh, at the stream because I heard my name for a second. That's how it goes. Yellow's role is to just show up at player's front door every day and preach the world of uh, word of Arceus. If Volo stayed true to Arceus, he'd be a ev an evangelist. My Pokemon's getting low on HP. Things could be tough here. Don't you dare heal him. I'll be very upset with you. Don't forget H in sell out otherworldly self that loves Arby's. At Arby's, we've got the meats. Except that Arby's is a brothel. Their greatest performer is a Lucario. Little does he know that he will meet Dialga. I already met Dialga. I kicked his ass. And then I temporarily possessed Grovile and I kicked his ass again. I'm having Dino Egg Oatmeal for supper. Why does that sound familiar? Im just eats at Chick-fil-A. A, a jerk-ass br twin brother who makes Pal World and goes to Chick-fil-A. Sounds about right. What's going on here? Why it's I lost? And I took more money from you. I have now ganged 1,400 Poke Dollars from you. 
Ah, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City's Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that. Totally. <laughs> L eats at a fine-ass bakery. He gets all the donuts. But he doesn't like cops. <laughs> he eats at the bakery so all the cops can't get donuts. <laughs> but only on Sundays. P eats at Fazbear's Pizza. You've heard of the purple guy. Now meet the yellow guy. He has a Zapdos. And a Pikachu. That he refuses to evolve into a Raichu. Bop, bada, bop, bop, bop. In is a vegan, no objections. He would be. He would be. That actually makes a lot of sense. Hello, child. You gonna fight me? I'm gonna kick your ass. I get my get up and go for my Pokemon. Here we go, Cricketot Zubat. When I'm through with you, you're gonna become a vegan. Youngster Michael, I'm gonna send you back to the days when you're in the Bible. No Pikachu owner willingly evolved it. That's very mean. I guess I'll growl at you. Because you're storing energy. <laughs> guess this would pretend to be vegan, but eat two steaks every Thursday and Saturday. Yeah, that seems about right. How much damage? Ah, not all that much, actually. But yeah, guess this is kind of a freak. Because, like... He has a Pokemon that has, like, the least amount of affection that you can have for, like, a Pokemon can have for you, which is horrifying. Why can't Darkrai be the Halloween mascot of Pokemon? Because he's Darkrai. He's too busy trying to take over the Pokemon world. Although maybe the human Pokemon world of Darkrai is too busy causing nightmares in... Giovanni's head to get around to wearing a pumpkin for a head. Level up for Nova. <laughs> you want to send out a Zubat, you motherfucker? I'm going to kill you. Gets a subjected Hydreigon to BDSM because he, he's mentally not right in the head. He's like, well, this Hydreigon has three heads. Better put him to use somehow. Wow, you did no damage. I'll do one more leer. Why do you all get the critical hit, but not me? Darkrai and getting turned to a human that gets turned to a Pokemon to save the world. I think that's a ROM hack and not actually what happened. Because I think I heard about a ROM hack that's like tells an interesting story. I have a selection of Explorers of Sky ROM hacks that I need to play someday. Some are more story. Some are all just story. Of course I hit myself on my computer. God damn it. Because it hates him, because Getsus didn't listen. Getsus is a mean man. It's a fan theory. Which is odd, because right after I beat Explorers of Sky, I actually started reading the TV tropes, and then it mentions that you can find Darkrai wandering the world, and he, you can recruit him. But, like, that would have been the perfect twist, considering what happened. And it would also kind of be ironic in a way. Like, Darkrai attacks you when you're going through time, and it turns out that he was actually attacking himself as he was going through time by accident. Because time shenanigans. Which would actually be kind of hilarious, 
because it means that Dialga had to create a paradox for time to function properly. Because, and it, it creates another paradox, because Darkrai has to try and stop time so he can create his dark world so that a human who is him from the future past can be knocked into being in a, a Pokemon with a, amnesia so that him who was a human, him that was turned into a human that was turned into a Pokemon with amnesia squared would then go on to save the world, change the future that he lived in. Hello, Abra. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to capture you. I guess I'll grab you if I can just because. But uh, to get back on track, Darkrai would attack himself from the future past, which would then turn him into a Pokemon so that he was a human turned Pokemon double amnesia squared. And then him as a Pokemon would then have to fight him in the in the past so that then Palkia can blast him when he's trying to go through time, which then sends him to the dark retconned future that is ne <laughs> that shouldn't be happening anymore so that he can have amnesia as a human to be attacked by himself to be turned into a Pokemon with double amnesia. It would be a hilarious grandfather paradox, but I <laughs> I don't think they ever did it. <laughs> but that would be a hilarious paradox. <laughs> there are multiple dark rides, true. But I do believe that, like, in this case, the dark ride that tried to crumble Temporal Tower and then rip open the fabric of space-time is the same dark rye that gets blasted and then gets recruited. Hey, child. I'm never apart from my Shinx. Our bond is strong. Good for you. <laughs> and then they kissed. Dark Rye does seem like a narcissist. You have charge, don't you? I'm gonna send Lancelot out to punch you. If anything, Darkrai would kiss kiss Cresselia. They'd have a slap slap kiss kiss kind of thing going on. Go, Lancelot! Pound that Shinx twink! Ha <laughs> you missed, you fool. My Lancelot is too powerful for you. Leer all you want, you angry, angry little teenager. Die. We killed the city of Dallas. Now the Cowboys will never win another football game. It is football, right? Before I challenge the Pokemon gym leader, I'll test my strength on you! That's very mean. Now you have to die. Sebastian. Manaphy is a great addition to Team Aura. Aura Mana. He is indeed. Manaphy is just a great addition to any team. There. Manaphy is just such a cool thing to put into the game. I guess I'll quick attack you. And then I'll throw out Amp if you get too powerful. Actually, I don't think I need to worry too much. My quick attack shall murder you. I do find it funny that the more that I play, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the more I'm like, hey, this Pokemon, I really like it, actually. Zoroa, Riolu, Eevee, Trico, Manaphy. Whenever I get to, uh, Gates to Infinity, whatever Pokemon I choose there, I... Yeah, 
I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. But, like, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the Pokemon you can choose to be in Gates to Infinity. I'm, I need to decide between, I think, Axu and Snivy. I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Manaphy's a great addition. Oh, I already read that in my brain. I'm just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You have four, you bitch! Oh, but you're weak as fuck. They should make a human mystery dungeon where Pokemon uh, becomes human, so it's just a human jumping and pecking the ground like a bird. That could be funny. That could be amusing. In fact, I think, like... I, I don't think it would be a good premise for, like, a game, but it would be an interesting thing to have, like, as a side quest in, like, a normal Pokemon game. The least impactful crit I've ever had. I just, I think it would be cool. Ah, charging power. My special defense rose. And you missed. And, of course, I miss. <laughs> we traded misses. Please die. Please die. How are you even out here with level 4 Pokemon? Although, now thinking about it, a normal, like, po like human shared with Pokemon world might be interesting if there was, like, Mystery Dungeon showing up in the human Pokemon world. <laughs> chaos. Chaos! Exactly. For some reason, that reminds me of Tales of Fantasia. Because the main villain in that game is called Deos. Deos? Something like that. My Pokemon are becoming swole, you little bitch. We are going to devour you to death. <laughs> Can't escape my level 100 Arceus versus a level 2 Magikarp. You do not know the power of that Magikarp. Its potential is so grand. That's just mean. <laughs> you send out a, a poor Abra that only knows teleport. Why would you do that? I've been a trainer for a day, lady. Huh? You're finished so soon? I killed you! What do you mean, so soon? <laughs> Pokemon's so cool. I wish penguins were real. Exactly. Don't we all wish that penguins was real? I got a nifty keen gym badge from the gym leader in Orber City. So if I beat you, I should be able to beat him. Power scaling, you know. You have one Pokemon. And it's level 8. How did you? Some people are th just there to try and cause trouble. Like Team Skull. They'll just dance at a Lapras. And quick attack! And Nova saves the day. Nova gets the most experience. Be hilarious if it double leveled up. Nah, <laughs> almost. Oh, I lost. La la la. What's wrong with you? Da, 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 da. I, I think I'll swap out but on the offhand chance that it says can't escape and Nova gets blasted. You leave my Nova alone, or amp alone. Kill. A level four wild starly. I don't even know I'm fighting you. They're from the Gale of Darkness universe, where defeat equals mental breakdown. 
Oh, that's funny. That <laughs> Coliseum had that too. I need to play Gales of Darkness at some point. I got an X defend. Now I can defend Mega Man X. Yay. Pokemon fans, when they get mauled by a wild lion instead of befriending you and having <laughs> firepower. Now I'm imagining somebody coming here to the, like, real world from the Pokemon world and they try to capture a lion. And then what if it succeeds? <laughs> My colorblind ass thought that Starly was shiny. Knowing my 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 eyes, I uh, uh, like depending on the shiny, I probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs> I meant to say Coliseum, but that works too. Hey, you got the you got the right franchise. <laughs> Gales of Darkness, Coliseum, same thing. <laughs> Maybe in by wheel wi <laughs> wheels of darkness game brain. <laughs> Maybe by Gales of Darkness. Everybody has gotten therapy and no longer stakes their lives on Pokemon battles. Another Abra. I guess I'll throw a Pokeball at you. I don't think I'll capture you, but I'll throw a ball. Go! Yeah! Yeah, you see? Get in the ball, Larry! Huh, it worked! Okay. I think the last Abra I caught, I called Merlin. In Pokemon Yellow. What am I gonna call you? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Name it Larry? Sure. <laughs> I did call him Larry, you're Larry now. You get to be a normal guy. <laughs> no grand expectations. If there's a Gardevoir, we are we are going to swap you out, Larry. Just so you know. Even if it's a male even if it's a male Gardevoir, Ralts Curlia, your days are numbered. I can't wait for the sequel to Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness. Pokemon LOL. That sparkling new Poketech, your awkwardness as a traveler. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new uh, fellow friend of Pokemon, so let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. I just got it. Thank you. The hidden machine contains Rock Smash, a Pokemon learning Smash Rock can smash boulders in the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orabog City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden machine Rock Mash outside of Mlatel. Oh, hey, uh, uh, let's kill this child. <laughs> Pokemon so cool. I wish birds were real. <laughs> Pokemon so cool. Rabbits and tights, I wish they were real. Hey, we trainers will accept any challenges anywhere. It's what we do. The child says to the serial killer in the... in the rock cave. Oh, I, for I missed that comment, sorry. Wait, is that why your character has uh, got such big, <laughs> shiny eyes? Because you're worried about your eyes? Nah, it's just when I was drawing this uh, PNG tuber, that's just how the eyes came out. <laughs> and it's fine. I actually missed that comment. <laughs> Genocide route Pokemon. Ain't that how it goes? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Come on, Amp! Let's kick this bird! You are going to die, little bird. No one is going to save you. You are going to serve on Pokemon Davy Jones locker ship, bitch. I had a thought and then it just got away from me. I misspelled the misspelling of genocide. That's how it goes. Your brain, it, it, it undermines you. Time to can this fish! Congratulations, Larry. You are now level 5.
<laughs> That's it, you're going to Pokemon DeviantArt. To be fair, that just leads to uh, Pokemon Patreon, at least for a while, until you get big, then the Pokemon lawyers come in and they say, Listen, you can draw the Eeveelutions fucking each other, just uh, don't post it to Patreon. Which, yes, is an actual thing that has happened twice. Don't worry, we still enjoy your company. We're all just a band of weirdos in here. Um, imagine proceeding your partner to genocide in PMD like Snow Grave Route. Oh, that would be harsh. That would be mean. Twice? Yeah! On two separate occasions. Like, a person that primarily made Pokemon porn uh, through Patreon got contacted by Nintendo or like... Game Freak or Pokemon Company lawyers and they're like, listen, you can continue to make the porn, just can you not post it to Patreon? And it happened twice. Which I just find hilarious. I knew about the first time. <laughs> Stantler, use Glaciate on the Quexley. It's not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. For all I know, it's happened multiple times beyond that, and I just haven't learned about it. But it is funny that it's happened multiple times, isn't it? To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you! But yeah, it really does seem that with the Pokémon Company, like, there's only two lines they don't want you to cross. Don't make money off of their stuff, and don't make games that directly compete with them. Otherwise, go crazy. <laughs> that seems to just be their <laughs> their decision. <laughs> Someone in this world finds Basculin attractive. Maybe. There was an attempt to bring it back again. Also, so many Pokemon, Warp Space, and Palkia is probably just done with that. Like, I mean, look at, look at Dialga. <laughs> he was just like, I like the idea that Dialga has, like, Celebes as, like, time, uh, now uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm thinking of? Interns. Celebes are just time interns. So whenever a rogue Celebi just lets somebody travel through time, he's just like, Ah, god damn it. <laughs> time cops. Here come the time onions. <laughs> the Alola Crisis, Gigantamax, 90% of psychic time. <laughs> Court of the Celebes. Who is Batman in the Pokemon world? <laughs> Zoo Batman. Crow Batman. Second most useless critical hit I have ever had. You bitch. <laughs> Celebi, what have I told you about letting your lovers change time? To be fair, I think by the time... Shiny Celebi from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon got around to existing. Dialga was already crazy. So she didn't have her time cop training. <laughs> Not Gold Batman, though. <laughs> Batman solos Arceus with prep time. He does fight a lot of gods. How to trainer? Huh? Uh oh, you don't have a single gym badge? You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. Your ass scrangling. Go gym. Huh? There's someone there. I need to go to the to the, the safety house. These vents exchange the hot air down below with the fresh air outside. Looking down them gives you the air to start yelling into them. Hello! Somebody calls up. Shut the fuck up, Dave. Have you seen the vents? They're, <laughs> I could have sworn I've seen someone venting. They're quite sus. They really steam from down below. I just want the Pokemon Center, then we'll talk to everybody.
What is your favorite kind of trainer? Can you tell me? Which kind of trainer would you like to be? Ace trainer. An ace trainer is the kind of trainer you want to be? I see. So an ace trainer is the kind of trainer you like. If that's the case, others may come to see you in the same way. Okay, then I'll talk to you later. You're a weirdo. I would die on a hill to defend Raging Bolt. Someone teach this kid to not grab strangers and lead them to other strangers among us. <laughs> sure, Steam. You see, this town's daycare is underground. When I run around with my running shoes on, I'm the center of attention. At least that's what it feels like. There's always someone looking at me. Yeah, it's the, the kidnapper coming to get you. Teams are single-use only because these people are cowards and don't jailbreak. But HMs can be used over and over because they've been jailbroken. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. The gym leader went off to work in the mine. <laughs> the gym leader yearns for the mines. You know how Pokemon have different natures, like we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Have you ever seen or heard about differently colored Pokemon? Ah, the Pokemon racism is back. For instance, a regular Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? Well, the different colored Pikachu has a sort of orange body. Are you sure you didn't see a uh, Raichu? <laughs> I was implying farts. Maybe there's a sauna down there. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. The Pokemon yearn for the mines. A gym leader isn't just like any trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher, a lot. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. I need to actually find different Pokemon. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from all of them. That means you have to defeat all of them in battles at their gyms. Can't I just kick their ass just like anywhere? Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. Ooh, a Dusk Ball. I'm going to save that for a special Pokemon. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. You know, these are living beings that can consent, right? <laughs> you called him Yellow. I can't... Really, I can't really mock you. I named an Avril Larry. But he named our Psyduck Yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Are you also colorblind? <laughs> What soul in this world says, I found a differently colored Zoroa. I'll see you later, guys. Good night. May you sleep well. Dream of Pokemon. When you trade a Pokemon, an item sells a trade as well. It's pretty cool, huh? It means you can send an item as a gift along with your Pokemon as a trade. Man, being a Pokemon mailman must suck. Listen, listen. Do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade for an Abra? I already have an Abra. Be gone, lady. A Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it may ignore the trainer. Of course, it won't matter if you have uh, some badges. I fix my, I'll fix my sleep schedule, hopefully. And may your sleep schedule be fixed so you can dream lots more of Pokemon. All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. And he says nothing else. <laughs> the sad part in real life, that Zoro disappearing one way or the other. Yeah, that is sad. Because <laughs> isn't it like... Oh, we've had Zoroa tricksters. We must hunt them. Nah. Imagine how hard it would be to get employed in the Pokeverse. You don't care about battling. Maybe you could be an accountant? <laughs> My favorite Pokemon ability is Patricio's Pickup. My darling picks up a lot of dropped items without me noticing. Your, your, your Patricio is a thief. The view is good from the second floor. And it's a pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geodude? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Everstone gift on trade evil Pokemon. Isn't there like an actual official NPC trade that does that? Because they decided to uh, yearn for death. Rourke is, in our, is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. Rourke is a user of rock type Pokemon. Don't you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. That sounds like a mean thing to say. Good evening. Tune into the show. You'll always be on the cutting edge of fashion. You guessed it. It's the Trend Tracker Show. Let's go to our latest trendy news. Take it away. 
berry professor. Say hey, hey, how are you? Berries growing today. Say hey, berry fans, how goes it today? Okay, enough fooling about. Let me roll it right out. Today's berry lookout. Route 208 is where I went, hoping to find berries by scent. Great, he's a rapper. And there I found them. My journey was rewarded. My heart raised. I felt inev enfevered. But there I left them as gifts for you. Say hey, check your berries today. Thanks, everyone. That guy deserves the execution. <laughs> Mendy on the Everstone trade. I mean, some people would either hide it or house or beat it. Oh, yeah, for Zorla. Uh. <laughs> Mendy, the little rat. Haunter Everstone trade. Who the fuck would be a Barry fan? Oh, Barry's that Barry. He accidentally is like, poor Barry. He's just ADHD ridden. Coal mining in you. Children yearn for the mines. Natural time capsules buried many years ago. That's what fossils are. No, they're dead bodies. Actually, no, they're more like sediment, like falling into the ever decaying hole of dead bodies leave behind. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. Okay. Hiya, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Why not try training in the mine? I was have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. Mood. <laughs> they yearn for the mines. That's what everyone in this town is saying. Wow, your Pokemon eyes are twinkling brightly. See, that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. Why does this child have a great ball? You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. The Oberg Mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. It's a coal mine. Coal is carried out of Oberg Mine on a fully automated system. Machines do all the work automatically, so it's all very easy. If its berry was real, he'd be trouble with the Mafia somehow. He'd fine the Mafia leader like 10 million pokey, somehow get it from him, and then go on the run. <laughs> Your Pokemon's eyes are glowing brightly. Ma'am, I only have a Zubat. Maybe she see maybe maybe they see eyes in the mouth. There was no coal Pokemon in Gen 4. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's you, Neon. You finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Uh, I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. If you want to murder somebody, go to the mines. Yoza. So, yep, down to the mine is where we go. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Chop, chop, a chop, chop, chop away on rocks. I can't believe they have child labor here. You're taking a tour of our coal mine? Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. Good evening, everyone. Ready to buzz through the Electa Buzz? Like Electa Buzz? The Pokemon Variety I was here. Let's spend an exciting, dreamy time together. This is the Pokemon Porn Channel, isn't it? So what do our hosts have in store for us today? Let's get on to it and see. Jubilife TV, Dramatic Cinema Hour. The professor evolves eight times. He's back, the dandy and dapper gent who is a professor of Pokemon by day and a crime-busting crusader by night with his Pokemon sidekicks. The daredevil doctor returns with his trademark line, you evolve too. Join the professor in his accelerating drive to stamp out pokey crime. Coming soon to your television. His love interest is a guard of war, isn't it? Everyone loves the mines. Anything pre Gen 5 is mid because Zora doesn't exist. It is one of the sad things. A yellow shard? Okay. If I get a green shard and a blue shard, can I create God? Well, Zorak was first shown in a Gen 4 movie, so arguably pre-Gen 4. So basically you have, like, the Pokemon existing and then the Pokemon actually usable in-game. There's no question this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives us the boost somehow. Here, take one of these! 
Thank you for the super potion. Feeling hale and hearty puts a smile on my face, and that makes me happy. You think in the Pokemon world, those are used as, like, pick-me-ups? You put a little super potion into your, like, uh, your coffee. I guess they go through a lot of potions at the daycare. <laughs> Beware of busy Pokemon. The Ho-Ho Syndrome. And Togepi. Yep. That's actually kind of cool. It has a... Uh, depth. I found what I thought were some rocks that they started moving. They're Pokemon that look just like rocks. Everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles, haha. -ha! And then I'll take their Pokemon and beat them to death with their own Pokemon rocks. And every other Pokemon shown before its actual release. Yo. Yo 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 yo. I guess I'll bash you a little bit, so I can show that guy. I guess, and I guess have an HM slay for Rock Smash. Those aren't rocks. Those are cans of gas or something. That child is not very smart. I just know that if I hit you with a water attack, you just die. Nintendo used to own love hotels. Now Pokemon has daycare. And they also made cards and taxi services. I knew you'd die. I have, like, no good moves to get your health down without killing you. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Does this kind of mean that in the Pokemon world... Like, in the Pokemon world, Nintendo does exist, but they never stopped their love hotel business. They just went on to use daycares instead. Rome is my favorite Pokemon because it can be a phone and a slot machine. Through the power of Rotom, you can play Genshin Impact. <laughs> Um, imagine using your Rotom phone and knowing that there's a ghost inside judging you. Man, your taste in MILF sucks. I know your internet history. care all that much to have a Zubat as a used Pokemon. Imagine having to live as a Rotom phone, having to become Raid Shadow Legends ads every day. Depending on the Rotom, I could see a Rotom just actively creating its own ad block. <laughs> what a sad existence. Well, it's a ghost. It can probably just Get on out of there if it doesn't want to <laughs> do that job. Come to think of it, aside from my Piplup, I don't think I have a good Pokemon against rock types. I need to lower your health a little bit so I can try and capture you. That's going to make it bad for uh, electricity moves, but I'm not going to use them on you. It's like, that feels like that should be the move that, like, a water type can do. To make it so that electric type moves are a little less likely to just nuke you from orbit. But no, it's like, I'm a Geodude. I am strong against electricity. I'm going to make it so electricity sucks even more around me. So basically, the Geodude decides to double tap the electric typing. <laughs> Your existence is gonna be HM Rock Smash and showing a guy a Geodude. I hope you know that, Geodude. 
But hey, at least you'll be easy grinding for when I get into a random battle. I can just swap out to <laughs> Lancelot and nuke you with Bubble. If you break out, I'm going to be very sad by your existence. Good, you know your place. <laughs> know your place! Trash! I wish you got experience for also catching Pokemon. At rest, it looks just like a rock. Carelessly stepping on it will make it swing its fist angrily. You're gonna be named Donald for Donald Duck. Actually, I'm just gonna call you Duck, because I think that's funnier. And plus, you're a girl, so Duck seems more sensitive. Welcome to the world, Duck. We'll go heal, show that guy the Geodude. Also, I find it kind of funny that female Geodude, it's not Geogal. All the Geodudes are a masculine culture. Steel should be weak to Psychic because an iconic Psychic trick is to bend spoons. But to also be fair, Tinfoil. I still hate that, but Tinfoil. Geoduck is a type of shellfish, too. Eh. I don't know if I'm being... if it's a joke or not. Anything can... This world is mad and anything can be real. You wanted to see a Geodude? Oh, that Pokemon, that's a Geodude. That's cute, so cute. That does it. I'll go and catch Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. This is a token of my thanks. I got a Heal Ball. <laughs> I'm so serious. That's hilarious. Now I can have a Rock Smash. Then again, if when two Geodudes fuck, isn't that already a Rock Smash? And I guess before I forget, we shall... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, that's interesting. We can actually see their faces. We know who to hunt down for fun. We have a hit list. My audio cut out for 30 seconds. Huh. No! I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Did you come back to hear my when two Geodudes fuck Rock Smash joke? I don't know. Stream delay as well as audio cutting out for them. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I find it kind of funny. <laughs> Went from no to yes. <laughs> Chop macho. I met this ma these machop on Route 207. They have now become my most trusted partners. <laughs> Did you hear the gooey duck comment? Well, I heard geoduck, but not gooey duck. Pokemon so... I wish humans were real. But then all the humans would get all of the hot law honey babes. <laughs> now my brain went, in a world of Pokemon, do you think that there are law honey who wear torn ch uh, torn tights to cosplay as Mega Law Punny? <laughs> Damn, you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Wouldn't they want you to have your Pokemon at work so that you have like Pokemon you know and trust to help you with work and to your Geodude's gonna fucking die. <laughs> in the world of Pokemon, instead of like bunny girls and like bunny suits, are they Lopunny girls and Lopunny suits? And do you think that instead of fishnets, they have torn tights to mimic Mega Law Punnies? What is the lore on Pokemon Degeneracy? Now my brain is wondering which Pokemon would be considered the fertility god. Would it be Xerneas or Mew? 
Because Mew is the one that's probably fucked the most. Xerneas is probably the one who brought more life into the world through magic. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Shaman. Maybe. But I think that would be more like plant life and growth rather than outright fucking. Xerneas is a tree. It's a deer. <laughs> Mew reproduces with a flower. Maybe that just means Mew has a thing for grass types. But funnily enough, I think I know, like, the... Like, Tumblr blog that kind of popularized that idea, I think. Unless that's actually a canon thing. I don't think that's a canon thing. Would be funny if it was. And this is how... <laughs> plants. All the Pokemon in the world are plant people. And if humans are Pokemon, humans are plant people. Fine, alrighty then, just a quick battle on my break. I never understood the blatant favoritism towards Xerneas. It gets two forms of the tree form. Yevatol just gets to curl up into a ball. Xerneas has two forms, I didn't know that. Yeah. I was unaware. Also, this feels like it's a small mine. Get blasted, idiot. Do you think rock types have an erosion king? I feel bad for Mewtwo. too. Amber too fucking died and had to watch. And only uh, like the deep recesses of Mewtwo's mind do they remember. If at all, maybe they don't remember at all. If only you had a psychic move. I forget. Can bird move do super effective? I didn't for a while, too. It was uh, one in battle, which is the glowy cool one, but one in it isn't battling when its antlers aren't glowing and blue instead of tan. Yeah. Hmm. He does remember. Yeah. Get wing attacked, idiot. The bird has come to roost. I'm gonna shove my wings straight up your ass. When my dumbass caught one in Dynamax Adventures, I thought it got a shiny for a minute, not knowing it had two forms. Interesting. I can't believe you got catfished by Xerneas. Ha <laughs> ha, mercy, I cry mercy. Mercy from Overwatch won't save you, bitch. When will I get an actual lightning attack amp? I want to blast some motherfuckers into paralysis. How dare you give my poor amp some dementia? God, there would be Pokemon that could do that, couldn't there? You think in the Pokemon world they have to be, like, super duper careful with, like, Oh, my poor super rich grandfather can't take care of himself. I guess I'll need to take all his money. And it's just like, oh, we need to make sure you're not uh, using a Pokemon to fucking rot his brain. So are you enjoying the game so far? It is very nice. It's a nice leisurely time. The graphics are good. The Pokemon are nice. We already have, like, different feeling areas. A big city, small town, a mining town. It's very nice. A Geoduck also is able to be prepared raw or cooked. Interesting. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash or Boulder Blocking Your Way has been fucked to death. 
Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they are out of your out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Well, of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. And then he just moves along his merry little way. I'm gonna demolish that twink. I want that twink's penis exploded! Bop, bop, bop. Pokemon Platinum was one of my favorite games right off of Crystal. Pokemon Platinum has a special place in my heart because it is the first Pokemon game, well, technically Pearl was, but I preferred uh, Platinum when I eventually got it. So basically Sinnoh in general is like just a special place in my heart of being the first new Pokemon game that I played because I played Blue and Gold when I was a kid, but they were secondhand copies we got off of eBay. And uh, then Pearl and Diamond came out, I got Pearl for Christmas. Then the next Christmas I got Platinum, because I had a really fun time. And I just loved it. I still have my old copy that has like, Regigigas and stuff on it. And since I had Pearl, I was able to trade between the copies and make it so that I could like, uh, do things. Have fun time. I could, I could do New Game Plus. That's one thing I wish that new Pokemon games had, New Game Plus. So that, like, you can take your... Like, it would be interesting. Like, have your same Pokemon, but, like, kind of copy them to the save, next save. And have a New Game Plus of the, your favorite Pokemon again. Because the one downside of, like, trading your favorite Pokemon into a new Pokemon game is they're higher level, so... It's a hard time actually getting able to use them for stuff. I think my first were Platinum and Black. <laughs> Funnily, even though I'm a big fan of Pokemon, I haven't played 2 2 2 2 2 2, two mini. Again, Blue, Gold, I played Yellow eventually, Crystal on stream, Pearl, Platinum. I skipped Generation 3 until I finally went and played it on stream last year. And, uh... Ba -ba -ba. But I skipped Generation 5. I'm bad with the Generations, by the way. And then I guess Generation 6 was X and Y. I played a bit of Y, but then I got distracted, and then I kind of fell off Pokemon. Except for Mystery Dungeon, because I got Super Mystery Dungeon. Loved it, but something caused me to stop because Brain. My brain is very bad at drawing me away from games I want to play. My first Pokemon game was yellow. A respectable one. Then again, any Pokemon game is a respectable entry into the series. But yeah. With streaming, I just hope to play like a bunch of Pokemon games. Ones that I haven't played in ages. Ones that I didn't beat. And ones that I've never played before. And just experience Pokemon. I want to also like go and maybe play some of the Ranger games. I'll need to figure out a proper like stance to control... <laughs> uh, Ranger when it's uh, being played on an emulator because sadly I lack I lack the ability to record physical DS games granted like the only portable handheld that had built in video audio out was like the first edition PlayStation Portable <laughs> eh I got Pokemon Red after that, then Gold, then Crystal, then Ruby. My first shiny was a Black 2 Leopard. Now 50% of my Pokemon are shiny. <laughs> You've been blessed. I skipped Gen 6 and got back in it in Gen 7. Meh. I think my first shiny Pokemon was a Volbeat? Maybe? I forget. I have not had that much luck with shiny Pokemon. It's entirely possible that maybe I've seen a shiny Pokemon and didn't recognize it because I was young. The only games I haven't had is Pokemon Sun and Moon and their Ultra variants. For me, I suppose the ones that I haven't gotten to would be Black, White, Black, White 2, Sun, Moon, Ultra variants, Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet. I need to get towards more of them. 
Oh, but I really liked Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus is good. Mine was Hexorus. A respectable one, I think. I still have the save file with it. Huzzah. I'm taking a picture of each frame of Bad Apple on my DS to put it into Flipnote. Bad Apple on the DS XL. That's a fun project. Bad Apple. It's like Doom. It'll be on everything eventually. Hello and welcome. Would you like to murder God? There was an old man in there. I forget if I talked to him. Let's talk to the old man. What or who is this, Team Galactic? They make wonderful claims of a dream energy source on one hand, but rumor has it they steal Pokemon from others by force. It's a mystery. They're mysterious. Isn't anyone investigating them? If you have Scarlet and Violet and Arceus Legends data, you can get Arceus. Neat. The one problem is, <laughs> like, man, Pokemon games are expensive to get... <laughs> oh, no, that's, uh... Yeah, the BDSP, I forget, like, Blazing Diamonds, Shining Pearl. <laughs> I wonder if you can take Legends Arceus Arceus out of Legends Arceus through, like, the Switch Pokemon Home app thingy. Well, I guess let's try our hand at the... this. Alright, uh... Perspective. Howdy! How's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to early impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Now, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. You sound like an idiot. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why'd you do that. Uh, experience. I'm about to level up, and you look like just enough XP. Ba bum ba 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 Come on out, Lancelot. Let's fuck this rock. And now my brain went to a place again. Mostly, in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world, would Evolution Stones be used as sex toys? My brain goes places. In a corrupted world, we got Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant Dave and Shiny Mason. The abbreviation would be terrifying. Oh, God. Exactly. My brain goes places. Now I understand why you decide to battle with me. Because you're just enough XP. But yeah, it's, it's like that one... I forget that Nickelodeon show, I think. But it's that I do not control the rate at which lobsters die. But it's I do not control what my brain summons. <laughs> Only those who want to win can challenge the Pokemon Gym. And I will kill Pokemon Gym. I feel like Evo Stones would be like crack for Pokemon who can't evolve or use Evo Stones. Ah, you never know. An electric, an electricity stone could be quite tingly when applied. And since you need to go to specific places to evolve in the Mystery Dungeon world, maybe they can get kinky with it. Not iCarly, another one. It was like two guys. One of them ran over Oprah. And then I think that one, one of them got, in, like, the actor got in trouble in real life and is now disowned by the internet. Drake and Josh, that's it. You're gonna send out an onyx, you bitch! Then again, onyxes are hardly ever that scary. I ain't calling you a truther. Spherical! I've never watched iCarly or Drake and Josh. I did watch the Lilo and Stitch, the series, though.
God, if I chose Chimchar, this would be painful. I have no... The only one I have that can do damage is Lancelot. Your voice range is simply astounding. And I thank you very much for that. I like that I can go kind of deep. Then I need to work on my higher-pitched voices. But I kind of fear that they come off as annoying. Because you need to find a nice balance to be able to actually cure them. No, Elmo came out to play. Would you like to trauma dump on Elmo? Like, being able to hold the higher-pitched voices is difficult. <laughs> you you sent out an Onyx, you bitch. I need that as a notification. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know why, but every single time I see, like, an Onyx or a Steelix, I'm like, Oh, God! You need a girl voice. Sadly, I don't really have a good girl voice. Like, when I voice my Eevee self and Zoroa self in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I kind of go for a kind of mild voice because I think it's... Kind of simple, kind of high light, but not absolutely piercing and kind of cartoony. And then I kind of have some of the more mommy-based voices, you know. <laughs> I love your streams. They're the best. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be able to, like, because I like streaming because it allows me to get an excuse to, like, play games more. Because it's like my brain is like, oh, this is activity. It is progress of thing. And plus, it also allows people to also partake and enjoy. And also, also, like, my brain does this weird thing where I, if I play a game on my own, I kind of enter autopilot. But if I play a game on stream, I kind of engage with it more. Which is kind of odd, because if I play a game on my own, I'm more willing to do, like, all the side quests, all the collectibles and weird stuff, depending on the game. But if I'm on stream, I kind of debate more. It's like, eh, what's good for stream content? Like, what's progress? It's kind of like why I'm not all that interested in streaming, just the collecting those weird musical instruments from legendary locations and Explorers of Sky. It's like, weird brain priorities. Also, like... Uh, Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is so much more fun to play on stream where I can do all the voices and actually try to explain my thought process, my conspiracy theories, and where I think the plot is going to go. It's, like, it's a thing. It's a fun time. <laughs> I'm Rourke, the gym leader. But I'm one trainer who decided to walk proudly of Rock-type Pokemon. Brock is better! I'm gonna turn my frying pan into a drying pan! As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Oh no, he has a Mega Man intro. <laughs> if Basculin is in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, I want you to use the mommy voice for it, because that would be fucking hysterics. I don't think that there is a main Basculin in any Mystery Dungeon, but I'll try to keep that in mind. That would be funny. Oh, good. I get to see your first gym battle. I'm waiting for gym three. Gym three seems scary now. Objection, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. My client claims oopsie daisy. Your client murdered 34 people. Yeah, well, so does the U.S. government. <laughs> These jelly-filled donuts are amazing, Ash. Now my brain went to a bad place again. But Brock, why do you have that Vaporeon with you? It's jelly filled too! I might... <laughs> maybe I'll throw Geo... Uh, <laughs> Geo Duck out to... to maybe die. Ash, I have to go file Pokemon taxes. Goodbye. Aren't you just a teenager? I'm also a gym leader. This world is fucked up, Ash. Don't grow up. Never grow up, Ash. And he never did. You fucker. I actually made the jelly-filled donuts IRL. They could be actually quite tasty if done right. Both traditional jelly donut and 
well, <laughs> what you think it would be like. And Nova leveled up. <laughs> Nova looks at an onyx, towering over her. She runs away. She gets all the experience. And, uh, Duck, you are going to be our sacrificial lamb so that we can heal Lancelot. And what is this crowd? Yeah, it's the dinosaur. It makes sense. Th think you can take down the next Pokemon? I didn't read all the way. Brock was a geni uh, genius of his time. We were just too foolish to realize. <laughs> Judude, Onyx, and Kranidos. He's basically Brock, but with a dinosaur. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna take you out. Unless that's not a rock type that I can uh, bubble away to death. But let's try it anyway! Kill him! Okay, good. Super- oh, fuck. Can you please use the mommy voice on random messages and chat in the future? I mean, I can try. <laughs> also, blind genius. What the fuck, game? Well, that's just mean. I don't think I'm gonna survive. Wing attack, I guess. Why do you get to go first? <laughs> My mother- Why are you doing so much fucking damage? You asshole. Why? Hate you. This Kranidos is like, I'm gonna take no damage, but I'm gonna deal lots of damage. Asshole. And he always goes first. My mother just died, flame emoji. So yeah, I think I'm done here, because he's gonna, yeah, headbutt, I'll instantly die. Why did it not do, like, the ome omega damage? How dare. <laughs> Can I just use Larry to get away? <laughs> because Kranidos is stronger than you and faster than you. Well, he's a dinosaur, so he should be dead. So it's, uh, he's being carried by this here man, this Kranidos. How dare you. Guess we'll have to grind a little bit. Very rude of you. <laughs> That's kind of a depressing message. <laughs> Why won't you die? Nano machines, son. They harden in response to physical trauma. I wasn't asking about your dick, Armstrong. Well, that's weird. The little pokey tracker didn't update. Should've uh, grinded the levels a little bit more. It's not my fault that I expected the game to be generous there. And then he's just like, actually, I have a god here. He takes no damage, even to super effective attacks. But why would you do that? Because I'm a dick. Well, actually, I suppose I really should just... Hmm. I'll still, like, double train with the swap train method. Because this levels up Lancelot and others really fast, even if these guys aren't, like, super high level. <laughs> Non-Newtonian, son. Hardens in response to physical trauma. <laughs> Non-Euclidean, son. I don't understand math. Hmm. Because if only you could, like, learn a psychic move, but I don't know when you do. So I'm not even sure if it's... But really, you're the only one that I think might have a chance... I want to level up my other Pokemon alongside Lancelot. So that way they get some experience, he gets some experience. 
Plus, I don't want to do just, like, super grinding off stream. Because what if they evolve or l get a cool move? Why would you mud sport in the face of a psychic type? Or is that just uh, evocative of the Geodude shitting itself? <laughs> Once it evolves, then it learns psychic moves. So he's basically... <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Come to think of it, maybe it would be faster if I solo leveled uh, Lancelot and then like swap trained during the, the gym fight. Except for Chronodos. Of which I'll probably sacrifice everybody to like lower Chronodos's like defense and attack and then I'll throw out him. <laughs> Useless, yes. <laughs> All right, so new plan. We'll super level up Lancelot. Super train him in here. Maybe to level, I don't know, 15, 16. And then when he's gonna throw out Kranidos, I'll growl and leer at Kranidos until they faint and then pray, basically. <laughs> Die for me! In a world of infinite health care, we can <laughs> be allowed these insane tactics of war. Kranidos' head looks like... Hello, Onyx! You're a rare spawn, I guess, but I don't care to catch you. I don't even care to get Steelix out of you. <laughs> Legend of Zelda moment. Pura, the rock takes souls to the afterlife and gives you dirt? What do you do with the dirt? <laughs> Link, eat it mostly. <laughs> Link would. I eat the soul dirt. <laughs> bup, bup. The workers come out, it's just like, why are you killing all these rocks? My water bod desires their blood. <laughs> Well, Kratos is called the headbutt Pokemon for a reason. He has an ass on his head. Now brain went. So Kranidos is the best at giving head, huh? Kranidos, the prostitute Pokemon. We must kill the Geodudes. We'll break down the patriarchy. The Geogals shall rise up. <laughs> Chat posted one singular A. Probably at my unhinged ramblings. Once again, I do not control the rate at which Brain summons forth these insane thoughts. Geo Dudette. Radical, bro! Now I'm imagining surfing Geo Dudes. That's what they should have done. They should have had Water Rock Geo Dude be a surfing surf bro in Alola. Not Dig Doug Trio, although with Doug Trio being kind of. Fabio hair kind of guy in Alola, I think, if my brain is serving. At least Dugtrio from Explores the Sky gets to have his dream. As long as it doesn't fall into the water. Basically, he's a water glass cannon. He can use water to great effect, but if he falls in, he dies. Like, uh, like a firebender with no necessary required secondary powers that keep him from, uh, burning himself. Out of curiosity, do you think you'll cut out this, uh, level grinding? Uh, if I did actual, like, super edited, like, Let's Play videos, I would. Like, if I was doing highlights, 
I would, like, mostly cut around, like, actions and stuff and travel and focus more on my funny reactions, my funny jokes, talking to chat for funny things. But, uh, for the stream VODs, they are all straight up uploaded. Because my, my most plan is, like, the stream VODs that you're watching here, the ones that are actually streamed, they get unlisted, but they're always put into the raw stream VOD. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And I have a recording of the stream that cuts out, like, the, oh, we're about to stream moment, and I pause the recording if I ever go to do something and come back. So that it's just pure gameplay, uncut gameplay, that I then upload publicly into the normal playlist. Plus, at also, more than likely, a higher quality, more assured. Also, also, it's mostly so that if my internet just shits the bed and it dies, I don't have to worry about the stream VOD being fucked up by it, because I have the raw recording. Just a whole thing. Goodbye, water sport. Don't care. I love this, to be honest, since we get the chance to interact. Yeah. Streaming's fun because you get to like talk to people and get information in mommy voice. Nope, grinding stays. <laughs> now I can only imagine my Sylveon Sona <laughs> being drawn saying that. I need to work on my Sylveon PNG tuber since I'm playing so much Pokemon games. I just for notice I forgot to sub. My bad. No problem at all. You being here is good enough. And also to you lurkers who just like to listen and are too ang anxious, ridden by anxiety or such to interact, or maybe you just don't care to chat, also thanks to you. Those who come in here to chat, those who come here to watch, all of you are valid. I love streams because I'm lucky I get uh, credit card info. Ha! It's the long con. If I stick around long enough, maybe I'll be able to sneak into their house and sniff their hair. I do joke, but some psychos actually do that. Eh. You think, ha ha ha, this is so crazy. And then they sniper wolf you. I kind of hear a bit of Wigglytuff in your mommy voice. Funnily enough, my inspiration for my Wiggly... Let's see. My Wigglytuff voice. That's what I always kind of aimed for, but it wobbled a lot. My main inspiration for that was a less deranged son from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. <laughs> Taken out of context, what kind of grinding? It's much like the I can take him. In a fight, right? In a fight, right? But in this case, it is fighting. Once again, imagining my Sylveon Sona in that meme is like, I can take him. And then there's somebody else like, in a fight, right? In a fight. Combine that with the Anakin and Padme meme. Although, is that where that came from? Like a variant of that? I don't know. Memes are just coming on to memes. Go, Lancelot. Kill. You're here to murder. <laughs> now I'm imagining neon out of context videos. Granted, I am already unhinged in context. <laughs> Maybe the real grinding was the friends we made along the way. I think Piplup evolves at level 16, maybe. Well, that's perfect. I was kind of aiming for that anyway. This isn't like, um, anything hinky like, uh, there isn't any cool moves that Piplup earns, like, early if I don't evolve him, right? Because I... <laughs> isn't, like, the Hoenn trio, don't they have, like, their signature moves locked behind, like, not evolving until level, like, 50 or something? I love this. And I love this, too. Because, like, even though I can 
stream without an active chat. An active chat always gets the brain flowing a lot more. <laughs> Meave at five years old. I can take five guys at once. Me at 15 years old. I can take five guys at once. Ah, uh, the things that the internet does to people. Well, that is, that is the meme. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't take five guys at once. Because I am neither strong nor sociable. I got one, two, three experience. <laughs> five guys at Freddy's. Well, depending on... <laughs> in the early days, depending on your thoughts on Chica, that's what... That is what it was. Well, actually, yeah, Gold, Golden Freddy exists. Die, Geobub. Ah, level up for the boy. Lancelot is evolving. He's getting a bigger lance. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. No, I don't think so. Normally, star Pokemon learn their signature moves from their final evolutions. But I do know that there was one set of, like, starter. Oh, you learn a Metal Claw? Well, we can learn, we, maybe we can learn Metal Claw, maybe. Hmm. Because flying... Huh, maybe I should get rid of Pound, let's see. It's, Bubble is only a 20 power. So using Pound... So maybe... Oh, that bubble was terrible. It does have a chance to lower speed, but still. Jesus. Mm. I want to keep Growl? Huh. Mudkip at level 42. Because <laughs> mm. I want to keep Bubble because Bubble good. Pound is, is a, a decently strong attack right now. I don't think it was signature moves, but Mudkip could learn a move exclusively uh, to it at, like, 50 or something. I think it was, like, their line's quote-unquote powerful signature type move. But it wasn't, like, their own signature exclusive. All in all, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of Growl. I'll be, I'll, I'll be my attack, 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 basic no strategy bitch. I miss my Electivire shop. Electivire Shop allowed me to learn moves again if I wanted to change strategy. <laughs> Guess we're taking Pound out of the equation. We're never taking Pound out of the equation. What if I want to reward Lancelot by sending him to the daycare? How else will he get bitches? But so could the other two. But the other two, there's a TM. <laughs> That's funny. All right, now we're gonna let Lancelot utterly annihilate his way through the Geodude and the Onyx. We'll swap in Starly to growl, 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 growl. Swap in Amp to Leer, Leer, Leer. And then hopefully by then, Kranidos will die. <laughs> Pounding everything. After a hard day of destroying gems, Lancelot goes to destroy some pussy. Maybe some, some ass. He doesn't discriminate. So in other words, Lancelot is going to prown Kranidos. We'll try the Metal Claw and see how that works. But, yeah, probably. We're not going to swap. One would think that Steel-type is strong against uh, Rock-type. Maybe. <laughs> Just grind everything to level 25. You one-shot the early game. I try not to over-grind too much. <laughs> Lancelot is a bi icon. He tries to be. Oh, of course you threw out your stealth rock, you bitch. Well, let's test it out. Metal Claw. Well, you're a double bitch, aren't you? Oh, it is super effective. 
It's just that against these guys, Bubble is better because Stab super effective. <laughs> now I'm imagining it's just like, <laughs> is that a metal claw in your pocket or are you just excited to see me? Because would you be able to use some of these moves in different, like, body parts, like Metal Claw? Could you... Like, ba ba ba. Metal Claw like your hind claws. Well, that plan didn't work because he's a bastard. Well, Amp, let's see if you can leer a bit. <laughs> Kinky. Exactly. At least the Intimidate goes off. Leer. Aha, you use Leer at me, but I use Leer at you. <laughs> Metal finger! <laughs> like... <laughs> Star... or platinum. <laughs> Machamp! <laughs> you got leered at, bitch. You got leered at hard, motherfucker. Now, let's see if all those leers helped. Bubble! Stealth Rock strategy, I hate it so much. He's still better than that one guy from the, the only gym in Aura. Ore? From Colosseum. Do you think there's porn of Pokemon in the Pokemon world? There has to be. Because in, I think, one of the games... No way, not giving up yet. Like, isn't there one games where you can, like, walk around a hotel and, like, if you inspect a bed, it says, like, there's hair on this bed or, like, there's tears on this bed implying some kinky times. Metal Claw, I think, is... Oh, what, well, my buffed up Pokemon? But Metal Claw would be less good because Bubble is super effective and stab, which gets it a little bit further than Metal Claw, I think. So I think it was just a little bit better. And also it had a chance to lower his speed. Eh. <laughs> I love that reference. It was definitely stopping. Uh... <laughs> to be fair, they once got married. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, in universe, like, <laughs> it's like uh, in the manga, there was the whole thing of like, a tentacruel going after their trainer in the in the shower. It's like, just look at all the different things. That that one couple that had an onyx and a cloister, La Honey's mere existence. That old lady in Colosseum who had the mighty Ina boyfriend. Not only is there Pokemon porn, it is a thriving industry. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Uh, but that's tough. You were strong. I do like the theory that Pokemon gyms have multiple levels of teams depending on, like, how many badges a trainer has. So a one badge trainer gets their simple team, and then they just have different strong Pokemon that they swap between teams to really test you. But that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge, since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. I did it! <laughs> Having that Cole badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this, too. TM76. What is it? Stealth Rock? <laughs> I knew it. You are a bastard. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, a TM will, uh, will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it. Yes, Rowan already told me this. So make sure you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Thank you, Rourke. <laughs> Do you think Gardevoir's <laughs> watch corn of Gallades? Depends on, how <laughs> on what kind of Pokemon they're into. Pokemon Platinum was made the year I was born. Jesus Christ. Oh, you hurt my soul. Time is an illusion.
I once glitched Pokemon Gold and beat Bryce early and made it the rest of the game mind blowingly easy. Yeah. Fire go burr. <laughs> Gallade would propose with a Mega Stone because Mega Gardevoir looks like it was a wedding dress. It does. Who, need, who needs a trainer to be able to Mega Evolve? They just love each other so much, their power makes it through. Now I need to super level up all my Pokemon. I guess we'll check out the Orber Mining Gym. Not main gym, but the... Oh, the it's not a hotel either, it's a museum. Is that just a rock of coal? My must take a strong mind, uh, not the top, just the top body. Thinking about it, you're in darkness, digging desperately through rock. That's a horror show for some people. It's a little far from here, but there's a city called Eterna City. I've heard a curious person named the Underground Man lives there. With a name like that, he must be an authority on the underground. Whoa, so this is coal? I never expected something this big. And that color, it really looks as black as they say. You're a weird little man, aren't you? In Scarlet Violet, the Pokedex image for Gallade looks like it's proposing. <laughs> it's kind of wholesome. It could be just kneeling since Gallade is a knight and all. Yep. Isn't it, like, actually called Sir Knight in Japanese or something? Wow, the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong. Or slavery. Well, how about that? The Arbor Mine extends under the seafloor. That's horrifying to think about. Welcome to the Orber Mining Museum. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now, on the verge of a breakthrough I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Wow, what's his name? Uh, what's the scientist alien from uh, Mass Effect 2? He reminds me of that. The history of Orber Mine. You could call it a history of effort and friendship between people and Pokemon. The box contains categorized samples of coal. Santa must hate this place. But, yeah, that seems to be it. <laughs> Make sure to save so I do not forget. But I think this might be a good place to stop. We've been going for three and a half hours. And we got our first gym badge, so things are going good. Shout to Iron Jugulus, who is openly stated to be the love child of a Hydreigon that fucked a robot. <laughs> that is hilarious. Pokemon. Pokemon. There are people out there just like, how dare you sexualize the Pokemon? And then the Pokemon company goes and does that. They make Salazzle. And you expect people not the harem Pokemon. You expect... <laughs> well, yeah. Aside from Rourke kicking my ass because of that freaking Chronidos, this has been a very fun time. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Salazzle is eternal in the world. But if you really want to, imagine a trans Salazzle. The first male Salazzle. By choice. I liked Vaporeon before the coffee pasta. I'm a survivor. I also liked Vaporeon before the coffee pasta. Afterwards, I just liked it even more. Granted, I also liked it, liked it more after that, uh... I forget what it's called. The Chalk Eaters group, they made that song. Gotta smash them all, I think. Or no, it was Furrymon. That was it. With the, with the Vaporeon wrapper. <laughs> so liked it as a Pokemon, I mean. I not so. <laughs> but yeah, Pokemon Platinum, fun time. I'll definitely need to level up my other Pokemon more so that Lancelot isn't just my only choice. But swap leveling should be able to do some more once Larry evolves, we'll have more options. Hopefully there's some cool Pokemon to catch later down the line. I might glance at the routes, like, spawn rate of Pokemon to see. Because, like, since I have a set stream time, I might hop on the game at the proper times to catch certain Pokemon if they only show up in the morning and the day, and that's not when I stream. <laughs> so, bleh. But that's basically all I would do. Otherwise, if it's a Pokemon that spawns in, during my stream time... Then I'll take us there and we'll try to find it. Like we did for Gardevoir that, or Curl, not Cur uh, Routes in Pokemon Emerald. But, yeah, Pokemon Platinum is a fun time. And I think that it will be a nice, like, 
breath of fresh air that will make me rejuvenated for beginning Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity sometime after we beat this. I also like Gardevoir in a non-weird way. I'm sure there's lots of Pokemon. Ah, but that's the thing. You can like Gardevoir in a non-weird way and a weird way. It's the best of both worlds. See you Saturday. Yep, Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because I'm trying to stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next time, we will be continuing more Pokemon Platinum, and I don't exactly know what we'll do. We'll just wander around and try to get another gym badge. <laughs> we'll probably check out the cave since we can Rock Smash now and stuff. <laughs> My only love interest in Pokemon is Basculin, and I'll try to give all Basculin some sexy mommy voices so you can have Dommy Mommy Basculin forever lodged in your brain. But if you want more from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, with a direct link to it in the description of YouTube videos, bios, and other sites, and link places everywhere. And it has everything that I do, edited content, YouTube videos that I need to go and try to make, but editing eats away at my soul, but then again, my brain is a whore. Yeah. He's a bastard bitch, but I also do art on various websites, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, everywhere. Uh, links can be found in the link tree. I need to draw more, like the Cresslia meme image that haunts my dreams. I also do writing, so if you want to see writing on the various sites I do D, you can go and read those their stories. And if you want to be super kind, you can throw me a dollary do through my tip jar of uh, Patreon. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I can't wait to see you here next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Bye bye. <laughs>